last time on Zero Mission, we finished the stealth section. We got our suit, our items, our weapons, everything back. We explored a little more of the mothership, and then we got to Mecca Ridley. It was, we died really, really quickly. It was very hard. So we left and we went on an item hunt and we did, we learned Ball Spark. We did a Shine Spark puzzle. We attempted a Shine Spark puzzle and got stuck. Uh, we did a lot of, a lot of item rehashing, so. Um, I'm excited to see where that takes us. I'm also surprised that we're at this save station. Last time we were trying... Oh, I guess we were trying the puzzle in here, right? Because we were trying to get that gray hallway for a really long time. Okay, I got nervous for a second. This was the wrong save. Rosebud, hi, welcome. Starting my weekend with a ladder race and a few. Nice, Magus, good luck, yeah. Uh, let us know how it goes. Mom, I love the cozy emotes. Hoping to get back to normalish life on Monday. Sounds good, Maggie. We have so many items and things that we didn't have before, and I guess our game plan today... Um... Where do we want to go first? Can we exit? How did we come in here? I don't think we can exit the way we came in. So I think we have to walk through and go out to Criteria, but that's fine. Today's been good. I received a lacy parasol that I ordered. Nice, Nandy. Mistake. Welcome in, thank you for the raid. It's good to see you, how was the rest of your stream? Hi, I don't know what I'm doing, you did great. Uh, it's so cool to see you streaming. I couldn't believe my eyes, everyone go follow Mistake. Was this your first stream? Have you been dabbling with it before? Uh, but he was playing a cool looking skateboarding game, Ollie Ollie 2. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it, Mistake. Welcome in. Happy Friday. Also, hi to Antable and Bristol. I remember 100% this back in the day. Recently played and couldn't remember how to get two items. Oh my gosh, there are some really hard puzzles in this. We're going to try our best to 100%. I don't know if we'll make it. I don't know if I'll get everything. I, at least not without hints. I might later, later on, require hints to get the last couple items, but we'll see. In the meantime, though... Still no hints. We're formulating a plan of where to go first. I think the only thing I can do is go down this way first. And I'll try my best to not stare at the map every two seconds, but ooh, it's hard. It's very hard. It's a big map. We've uncovered a lot. And I'm actually going the wrong way already, so I should stare at it every two seconds. Skating was dope. I'm glad. Have you played? It says Ali Ali 2. Have you played the first? Ali Ali? How does it compare? I think we want to go down and through this middle door to get out the easiest way. Okay, excuse you, sir. This one. Please remember to let Jen play the game for the first time without spoilies. Thank you, Llama. It's true. I don't want any help. At least not yet. We got pretty far without too many hints. I think the only things we've done for hints so far is whether or not I should leave something and come back later. I've not played the first, but there's another coming out later this year. Oh, cool. That's good to, to be playing this one to prepare for that then. That's awesome. Oh yeah, these need supers. I don't like this room. Okay. 
Is this going the right way still? Yeah, yes. Hello? Oh, I see. I couldn't go through that door because I was being pursued. And we fall, and we fall, and we fall. Thought there was a spoilers command. No. We don't have a spoilers command. We have a rules command, but I don't know if that one's turned on first and safe word pretty much um, cover everything. I don't, I try not to do too many large chunks of text from the bot in chat. It starts to clog up the chat, so. Finding the puzzles is the biggest puzzle, yeah. I never really played any skating games before other than Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 and 3. Mm -hmm. I, d I think those are the only ones I played, too. My wife and I once picked a safe word, chose- okay. <laughs> Did you see the new Metroid? Oh, I saw that there was a new, uh, yeah, a new trailer for Dread. I was hesitant on whether I wanted to watch it or not, if it was gonna reveal too much. And I wanted to be totally surprised. But I might watch it, we'll see. Rules is the one you were thinking of. Okay, Magus, yeah, we have a rules command. Maybe we should add spoilers as a alias. Oh, it's okay, Llama. I just, I wasn't expecting that uh, comment in chat. You're good, Bristol. I, um, we, we, we tend to keep it pretty PG-13 here. I don't know if that's on the line or not, but <laughs> keep it, keep it in mind. It is real spoily? Okay, then I won't be watching it. I, th I almost just pasted the link into the, we have a Zeebs channel in our Discord. I wanted to put it in there um, and write, you know, mark it as a spoiler. We are not still being chased. We, or you mean in, in, in the trailer, in Dread, or like in the game right now? What is this item over to the left again? We stood in that room and puzzled over this one for ages. I think we're just gonna skip it. Can we run through here? Oh, interesting. Uh... What does this do? Is this where we have to sprint? Oh! And then maybe do like a jump? Are all these? No? Hmm. Huh. This is cool though. We might be onto something. I did however play a hoverboard skate like game called Airblade, which me and my sister would play SS Tricky a lot. Oh yeah, I did play some snowboarding games. The lobster creatures? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The space pirates are still chasing us at that point. Yes. But we have our weapons now, so they're not a threat anymore. Oh, I didn't break that door in time. Tragic. I want to see... This, this has to be... What is that? Oh, I see. That crumble block makes it so you can't go through the top again? Hey, Fenris. Welcome in. Pretty sure the space pirates are just in the ship. They're just chilling. They don't come out in this part of the map. I still think I missed the door. Yeah. Oh, uh, thank you for the good luck. DDP Yoga? Welcome in. <laughs> this crumble block right here. I don't know why there's a crumble block there. Okay. We got this. I'm excited for chill 
explore the map time before things really take off. Oh, we can, oh. We can space jump that whole way and then it's right here, yeah? Where is the part with the blocks that we found? Oh, I forget. Okay, we might have to use a power bomb really quick. Uh, it's not that though. Oh, it's up here. Okay, so I gotta go a little bit higher. I gotta find the divot. I'm pretty kitted out. Is this late in the game? It is. We got to Mecha Ridley and turned back to go get more items before doing that fight. So we finished, finished the mothership and now we're doing some extra exploring. At least I think it's late in the game. I assume it's late in the game. I don't know for sure, but I'm not ready for it to be over until we, we do a little bit more item uh, farming, I guess. Not farming. Holly, welcome in. It's good to see you. Oh, wait. I don't need to jump there. This is what happened last time. We found the, the shine spark and the ball spark puzzles in Criteria, closer to where our ship was, and we just, it takes me a few tries. <laughs> Doing pretty good, Holly. I'm glad it's Friday. We are, let's see, what else can I update you all about my playthroughs? So if, oh, well, I said if we finish this, we're starting Fusion next week. We've also got this, uh, I'm almost all the way caught up uploading this playthrough to YouTube. So if you missed any of it, it's all on YouTube, Zero Mission. I cut out like the beginning, starting stream, starting soon screen. I cut out the intermission um, and we do some, we do some fun little Metroid thumbnails. I still feel so new to the YouTube situation, but I'm learning, we're trying. Oh gosh. Oh, how do you get that kind of height? It's not even this one, it's all the way up here. Do we, we probably diagonal shine spark then? Do we want a diagonal shine spark from right here? I don't know, we can try it. I know Holly's got the different chat color now. I like it. It's fun to switch things up. I say as I've never Change, never permanently changed my chat color name. I've changed it for special occasions before. Okay, let's see if this. Oh, I keep forgetting this isn't the room where we need to do anything. It's that door. Oh, that was weird. At least we found a place to run. I don't know what I had run into last time where I thought we couldn't... I couldn't figure out where we were supposed to do our sprint. I was convinced that it was like blocked off because we can't get to our ship anymore. Oh. You know what else? We might have to abandon lo-fi briefly because I can't hear if I have to shine spark right after the door I'm gonna want to hear the sound it makes to see if I to see if I got it or not say this bright green but I haven't experimented with other colors I do like the green for you Maggie it's a good it's a good color nice oh but we just got the one. So close. <laughs> uh, so then maybe we need to pass through the door, charge it, and walk like right here? It just needs to be a little lower? Or can you not jump so high in the air before I do the inputs? Interesting. 
It's like one block too high. <laughs> Hi, Carl. Welcome in. The animation is really cool, yeah. We can fly? Sort of. We can shine spark to the heavens. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so you can I think I can I don't have to move forward to do it Maybe like right here Or I can do it from here, but I need to not jump so high before putting in the inputs Ugh. Yeah, that's a bonk <laughs> Bonking our face into pillars here That's Samus. Oh, that's cute. I saw someone used um, a really cute Luca emote in chat the other day, and I didn't notice it until I was watching the VOD. I like this. I like this Samus wave. Yeah, and the Squirtle. <laughs> okay, all right. We can do this. We can do this. Don't get discouraged. I feel like half the battle is figuring out what to do. Still too high. Okay. Maybe diagonal's not the move then. Because these aren't in a... Oh, but it is. It clearly is. Ooh. One of those times you get real glad that unlike super sparking doesn't cost energy, I know. We learned that last time because, well we, we learned it when we first did a shine spark when we first got speed booster, but last time we tried a different shine spark for ages and I kept, I just kept running into the wall a lot. <laughs> this is a, this is a good, you know, warm up for the day. I didn't hit the door in time. We're gonna be needing these skills, so we might as well, uh... <laughs> brush up on the technique here. Ah! Alright. Do not like. So when we jump from the top of that little hill, were we... Were we still too low? Do we need to go just a little bit higher? Maybe, maybe lower is not the answer. My ADHD decided putting a timer on would not be prioritized after we sat down. I barely saved the pizza! No lava! I'm glad you saved it. Or, I mean, if nothing else, if the pizza's not saved, you didn't start a fire. But if it's still, if the pizza's saved, heck yes. Uh, well done. I think, I think I'm just a little too high there, right? Because we kind of bonked our head into this ledge above us. Can you diagonal? Wait, wait, wait. Can you diagonal ball spark? <laughs> this is inscrutable. I'm not a geometry brain. Space jump, welcome in. How's it going? This pizza is slightly burnt but eatable. Heck yes. This game has the best puzzles. I've heard so many good things about the Shine Spark puzzles in this game. Yeah. We're doing our we're we're trying them out. We're doing our best. We can diagonal ball spark. Oh, but that's not the answer either. Bummer. That was a cool science experiment though.
I wonder what the music is like in these two rooms anyway. I think it is the extra hype fanfare music, which is why we um we are forgoing that for lo-fi today. Oh, I didn't do the inputs right. Parker, welcome in. How's it going? We are... I don't even know what percentage we're at. That's the funny thing. Uh, but we're doing our best. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> yes! Okay, if these are crumble blocks underneath... Finally, we got it! Yay. How many tries was that? That was a tough one. Uh, what is this door below us? I forget what this is. I think it's blocked off. Thanks for the hype. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a one-way exit from something. Oops. This. I don't remember. Hmm. Uh, that's some- is that something we can only get to from the exit of... Turian? I don't know. What's up here? It doesn't appear that there's anything up there. The end of the planet. Oh, Poor Zeebs. Is there anything else over here? I feel like this would have been revealed when we used our power bomb earlier. Yeah, interesting. Hmm. Okay, um... How do we... Move on from here because oh we have to go to Norfair. All right, let's go to Norfair. Shoot, we have gravity suit now. We don't have to worry about the lava. Power bomb does do kind of an X-ray effect, yeah, because they don't give us our beloved X-ray in this game. Oh, we can go back to Turian. Wait. <laughs> May, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. How's your stream? Thank you for the shout out, Llama. How's Stardew? All the mods are raiding in today. I appreciate you. Welcome in, friends. I'm Jen the Human. Today, we are doing a chill pursuit of 100% for this game. Of Metroid Zero Mission. I've been on a, a huge Metroid kick lately. As per usual, I've lost all of my grammar. Oh, you're good. Stream is full of on screen thunderstorms and real life thunderstorms. Oh, we did, we got rain here today too. I hope everything, your power stayed on and all that, that can be scary sometimes. What even is grammar anyway, right? As long as your message gets across. Got a package that included a free gift and cow hair clip. All cute. How long does this last in the air? Not very long. So I wonder if I have to just do that enough times to jump to like here and then shine spark to the left. But I don't want to go back to Turian. I don't think. Did we miss items in Turian? Can I check from here? I keep hitting select to open the map. That's not how you do it. Crate, Brinstar, Ridley, Turian. We're missing part of the map in Turian, but not. it doesn't look like any items. 
I'm rating and dashing for the import important item. A certain jewelry item has arrived at the jewelers. Okay, no worries. Thank you for the raid. Um, take care, May. Have fun picking that up. Cool if you like storms. Yes, true. Storms can be cool, but I feel like when I'm playing video games and it's storming, it's like, are we going to lose power? Yeah, stay safe. We'll see you around. Alright, let's see if my- Oh no. <laughs> my theory. I can't test my theory if I don't press the right button. You all thought we were done with this room when I got that other item, but no. Except the only reason- Okay, be sensible, Jen. The only reason you're doing this is so that you can get those squares of the map in Turian. Maybe we'll come back to it later. Let's take a look at the blocks demand to be broken. I think maybe we'll hit Turian. There's there's another way into Turian through Brinstar, right? That's not blocked, I don't think. We might as well go in the easy way and not come out the way we exited. Anyway. Sankari, welcome in. How's it going? Uh, I just looked at the map and didn't register anything I looked at. Okay, so we've got lower left hand corner. It looks like all the map squares are complete, but we have three items along the whole bottom there. Doors marked in for a reason, yeah. You are stuck. Did you try to bomb a random block? That's how Metroid works, yeah. <laughs> Chill here, having a lot of beer, and decided to remove dust from guitars. I blame the music I'm listening to at the moment. Are you going to get some guitar practice in? That sounds pretty cool. I feel like we can- oh, the one- I always forget, but now I remember. The one in the lower left-hand corner of the map is that one that we spent a bunch of time on uh, in the lava, which now it won't be- it won't be a gauntlet. It'll just be a matter of, like, going down there and getting it. We tried to do it without gravity suit, but it was- it was too much. I couldn't get it. Dang, this is quite the trek we're gonna have to make through here. Glad I never sold them. Feel attached to them. Always wanted to get back into guitar playing, which I quit many years ago. Oh, it's cool you're getting back into it. That's awesome. Same, kind of, a little. I've been practicing. I'm not very good, but I'm trying to, uh, to improve. Or at least brush off the dust. Doesn't it look like there should be something up there? Oh, interesting. We can ball spark through here, but does that get us anything? No? Maybe from the left to the right? No? I remember this room and thinking it was something and then maybe we learned it was just a shortcut. There are a lot of red herrings in this game for items. Metroidvania basics try to blow up everything. Even new ability means lots of backtracking. Oh yes. Instruments can be difficult to keep up with. I feel the same way. Got back into drumming during pandemic once a week or so. Yeah. I love hearing Llama's drum updates. Doesn't matter how good one is at something as long as the heart's in the right place. Aw. Wise, wise words. I do enjoy it. I'm a little too hard on myself. Uh... 
sometimes. I don't think we want to go up to uh, Brinstar right now. This this one, this green hallway, that vertical hallway with the item we haven't gotten yet, over there, is going to be a challenge. It's this weird hallway with a missile blocking it. That'll be a puzzle. It's all about getting something out of it. And I think you're not getting much out of playing your instrument at a point. I think that's a good enough reason to take a break. Fair, yeah. Okay, <laughs> please, <laughs> Samus. I wish these blocks were all breakable. And we could just screw attack through- oh. Oh, I remember that was breakable. Yeah, yeah, that was how we got that other item. As avid cyclist, I spend thousands for my road bikes without hesitation and always told my mother that age is no reason to not start cycling. Now she rides herself and enjoys it. The only regret she never picked it up earlier. Cycling's awesome. Yeah, it's definitely never too late. How do we... can we not? Can we not get to the lower part of the map? How did we get down there to begin with? Is it below us here? This thing, right? Oh. Yeah, 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 I remember that. Okay. Interesting that it's marked as a one-way door. Because I feel like I had made assumptions earlier that those one-way doors... Oh, okay, well... I'm gonna try not to stress about it. I'm gonna go not to the left. I'm gonna go down one more. This is another, yeah. It's like I'm playing my guitar at the moment, but who cares? I do it for me. Nice. And you enjoy it. That's Im that's the important thing. You said you blame the music you're listening to lately. What kind of music are you listening to? What do you like playing on your guitar? This is how we want to go, right? Yeah. All the way left, and then all the way right, and then all the way left, and then all the way right. Yeesh. <laughs> it's a combination of music and the beer I'm drinking. The music is some medieval, like, German folk music about drinking. Nice. What was that mini game they always did in Whose Line Is It Anyway? Sort of that kind of music. That does sound fun, yeah. Ooh, look how much stuff those drop. Wish I had mindset for piano. I feel like I don't enjoy it if I don't see progression. Irish drinking song. Yeah, hey Tal, welcome in. Thanks for the good luck. We go one more over to the left, and then if we can drop down here. Yeah, why are these marked as one way? Very interesting. Oh, I feel like we spent a lot of time in this room too, thinking it was a puzzle and it wasn't. Yeah, I remember this. Right here. 
Celestial, welcome in. How's it going? Happy Friday. Try beer, it makes you care less for rhythm and all this. <laughs> I don't think we'll be drinking for the music stream tomorrow. I think I'm gonna stay <laughs> sober while I figure out all the stuff I need to do. And perform in front of you all. <laughs> Wolf High. Welcome in. What about Irish drinking song? I knew some of those. Also the song by the name by Da Vinci's Notebook is fun. I'm super excited because Psychonauts 2 is out. I saw. I thought of you. I need to play the first one. What is this? Boop, 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 boop. Oh yes, this is the, the gauntlet here. No, this is invisible lava. I don't know. Oh. We never got this. Okay, nice. I was trying so hard to avoid the new Metroid Dread video, but I got spoiled! Oh, I heard- we, we were talking about it, Celestial. Um... What is that? Oh, this is all new. Oh. We were talking about it and I was one I was asking chat and wondering if I should watch it, but I heard it's pretty spoilery, so I don't think I'll be watching it. It's got nothing but good reviews. Awesome. When I hear Irish drinking song, I always have Lord of the Rings in my mind and hobbits dancing on tables. <laughs> Wolf, how's your Friday going? CG, welcome in. How's it going? Thanks for the human hello. This hallway seems really suspicious, too. <laughs> okay. It gives you all this wind-up to spark right there. Wait, so that means we thought that this room was the end of a room and it's not. Oh, all the unmarked secrets on the map now. They, they laugh at us in our pursuit of 100%. Don't watch it, it's so good, but spoilers are beyond real. Sankari, thank you for redeeming human hoodie. This is not the last, oh, well, today's the last day for it. I don't think we'll do hoodies during the music stream, uh, but hoodie of the week is a popsicle hoodie. Everybody says this one looks like a bomb pop. Dread pre-orders have been, yeah, have been tempting for sure. Ooh, Hang on. <laughs> Did we ever figure out what to do in the one room that had the random hill and the speed blocks? No, we haven't been back there yet, Ta. Did you figure it out? Or are you saying we as the collective chat? There's so many games I want to pre-order. Mm-hmm. I think that one was just a shortcut, but I could be wrong. It's so hard to know. They're so sneaky about the way they mark everything in this game. Oh, okay, I can go through here. Also, chilling in a hoodie, super comfy, yeah. Feeling very cozy. It's perfect hoodie weather here. Not quite here yet. Thankfully, we've got the AC running. Okay, I can go... I can get to this one a couple different ways. What's... how do we go down from here? Oh. The hill is what irks me about that one. 
Why put a hill in the middle of a shortcut room like that? I don't know. I don't think I understand it either. Here's the one that we can just get from being in a gravity suit now. Oh right, this is two missile blocks in a row. I wonder if there's anything else down here now that we can take our time and explore. It's like 90 degrees where I am. Yeah, that's too hot for hoodies. Oh, nice llama. Have you heard of Super Zero Mission? No, what is that? That sounds great. <laughs> I remember... These are all... How does this work? Okay, I got the block. We should be able to get it now if we... Yeah, awesome. I, I was too panicked to figure out that puzzle before. I thought it was just a matter of going to the right spot in the map before we died, and it was it ended up being so much more than that. It's a ROM hack of Super Metroid that really captures the essence of this game as well. Cool. 84 here. I'm not leaving my fans for anything except necessities. Yeah. Take care of yourselves if you're in the heat. SCM is cool, but I got stuck. I think, um... I have seen pictures of it, maybe, Ta. But hadn't- oh, that's like a completely invisible wall there. Huh. But I didn't know what it was called. I think I just saw it when I was looking for images of Zero Mission. Can post a link to Discord? Yeah! We're making quick work of some of these marked items. As far as unmarked stuff? And secrets? I don't know how long that'll take us, but... Keep water nearby. 97 is very hot indeed, yeah. That's a lot. Okay, so we need to... Oh. We need to be able to run past these bugs. I feel like we want to kill them and not pick up the drops that they leave behind, but even that, the drops, like, disappear. Oh, god. Oh, and then there's this thing. This flamey boy. Oh, what's under here? Let's see if there's any hidden blocks that we need for this. No? Hmm. Out of curiosity, have you finished it yet? Nope, not yet. We haven't finished it yet. Wait, okay, I was like, that block regenerates, right? It better. Okay. Is this enough sprinting room? No. Do I just have to fire my weapon the whole time we're sprinting? Yeah, okay. So we can get this one block. What? How? Why are we doing this? I don't want to go that way. That's the exit. We can just get to it from the other side. Forget this. We're just getting beat up by bugs. We need one of those Jedi robes. <laughs> Sova or Nova? Oh, the flamey boy? We are trying to 100%. We're, we're gonna get as, as close as we can. Um, 
I think some of these might be a little too tricky, but we shall see. Why is that block breakable there? Just cuz? They were originally called Novas, but they retconned the name to Sova. Hmm. Alright. I believe you. I have no reason not to. Maybe let's go... Save and heal. Mm, no, nah, we're fine. Let's just jump down. See what this is all about. Sticking to Nova personally, yeah. Big colorful cloak. That would be cool. I need to add some new hoodies to the to the hoodie collection. If you all ever see any unique ones, send them my way, post them to the Discord. There's debate with Funtoon because it only shows one name. And Team Nova gets mad. Ooh. <laughs> okay, this had that one broken block. I wonder if I needed those for their platforms. Oh! Can't find an item? Just use a power bomb in the middle of nowhere. It feels like very much a shortcut. Gonna say Funtune says Sova, so me too. <laughs> it shows Sova even if you search Nova. Uh, fanning the flame in that case. I think we want to go to Ridley next, right? We did, there was, there was a whole room of Ridley we didn't finish. There was a, a square that we missed. Maybe some secrets we missed as well. Not invested enough to join a team. Team Ova. Um. Oh, interesting. There's also a block, a room here. Wait, what? Hang on. Oh, I remember. This long hallway below us. This was this was another like exit from that hallway, right? This one this one block here. And we shot up out of the depths, I remember. I feel like I'm so rusty today. Maiden Paladin, welcome in. How's it going? Happy Friday. Do you all... Hmm, I wonder if this is a safe word question. So... Super Metroid is really easy to tell how close you are to 100%, right? Because there's a hundred things. Do you all, is there a way to easily tell how close we are in this game as well? I mean, I guess just item totals, it's the same thing. How many supers, how many missiles, how many E-tanks? So if we stopped and did some math, we could figure out how far away we were. Why did that... Oh, right, these don't... This isn't the same as the ones in, uh... In the mothership that refill our items. Be taking a stab at Samus Returns and Fusion. Fusion is next. We're for sure doing Fusion. I don't know about Samus Returns yet, only because I don't have a great way to play it. But if we figure something out... Uh, we can give it a shot. I want to. I've heard great things. Also, welcome in, uh, Pogo Gamer. 
Math and Metroid? You have to beat the game first, yeah, but... Like... In Super, you just know that, oh, there. If, if we got everything, we'll have these totals. And I'm assuming this one is... Is like that as well. What am I looking at here? Is there some secret in that hallway? I don't know. Samus Returns is fantastic. Return of Samus did not age well. Gotcha. You want to know the item counts? I guess I don't need to know the item counts. Uh, but but I would like to confirm that yeah, if I if I want to find out later, that's a way that we can. Oh, I forgot to do this the right way. That we can tell how close I am. Like maybe after I'm like okay, I'm done searching the map. At the at closer to the end of today's stream, then we'll then we'll check the item count before we go finish up. I don't think they tell you in the game you have to know what the max is. Okay, Greg's retro channel, welcome in. How's it going? Safe word when you want it. Yeah, we will use that. We will use that later. They don't do it in this game, but you don't get totals for each area till till you beat the game. They don't tell you. We'd have to we'd have to use the knowledge of wiki. <laughs> we'd have to Google it. We spent so long in this little hallway with the uh I looked it up. I looked it up for the YouTube description. They have some funny name. It's not Imago, it's like Shimu Rimu or something. That's not it, but I forget. That's for sure. Game Boy was good for the time. Uh, but today's standards of gaming, not so much. These. What are the names of these? Because it's not Imago. It's something else. And I don't think Funtune knows what it is because it's not a super... Super Metroid enemy. Oh, Crumble Blocks. Oh, this is the um, where we fought Imago the first time. Fought is, I say loosely, because it's not really much of a battle. So now we want to go here. Oh, it's just OK. It's marked differently. It's just the alternate way into Ridley. OK, OK. And we're only missing an, a room. This is the other arena that we're about to go to, right? Yeah, there's a square that we just didn't we didn't space jump through when we fought Imago. Okay, okay. Well, that was less exciting than I thought it was going to be. I know Imago's the boss, um but what are those little larva ones called? They have some fun name. So now we can go out into Ridley and get the rest of these other squares. Also say about the NES original of the first Metroid game, if you have no nostalgic value for it as I do, I'd say play this version of it. We're gonna try it. We've talked about it quite a bit. Um, and we're, we're gonna, you know, open it up because I think we'll unlock it from this game. We'll see what it's like, but I have no conviction to commit to finishing it or making very much progress in it at all. <laughs> I grew up playing the NES NES original would rather play this remake, yeah. There are many reasons why. So we can shine spark through this room. This is a sprinting room. Maybe. Yes. Are these all? Yes. Yes. 
Yes. No, I don't know. Kirugiru, I think that is it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Greg, thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. I play NES and Game Boy Metroids with a map makes the game tolerable. Fair, yeah. I just know we talked about, um... We talked to- oops. <laughs> well, we needed to come down here, right? We talked about how brutal it is. Even if you do have a map, the fact that you can die from transition screens, you come back with only 30 energy. Uh, what else? I feel like everything does a ton of damage. Have we never been in this room before? No. Okay, interesting. We have already played Super Metroid, yeah. The whole playthrough is on uh, is on Twitch and is on YouTube as well. I feel like the comparison from how I started in Super to how I do with the game now is so drastic. <laughs> I was so rough when we started Super Metroid. We're much improved. Wanna beat the original someday just to say I beat it. Last time I didn't get past Norfair. Yeah. It's gotta feel good to be able to say that you beat it for sure. This room seems really suspicious, but I don't know what's going on in here. Thank you, Maggie. Thanks for linking the YouTube channel. I guess we'll save. Is that all we were missing in Ridley then? So the other thing we talked about yes. last time yes. was yes. Yes. how many various secrets I've missed that are not marked on the map. Because this area from first glance looks uh, done. But I don't know if there's a way to tell other than somebody that knows it, has it memorized, or is like comparing it with a map. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Old game consoles had brutal games, as a lot of developers still had the quarter eating arcade game mindset. Yeah. Is game audio an issue on Twitch? No, that's a good question. If you're new coming in, the reason we're rocking the lo fi today is because we got past. Um, last stream, when we finished the stealth section, Samus gets all her gear back, and they play that same Brinstar fanfare for ages, and it was kind of grating, it's really hype, it's really loud, so we switched to lo-fi. We're gonna do lo-fi for a bit today, and then we'll switch it back to game music. I'm a meat popsicle. <laughs> uh, I'm slowly catching up on previous Zero Mission VODs, yeah. Yeah, it's been a fun one. It's been good. I learned so much from Super Metroid that I feel like helped us out with this game. It is kind of our style too, Povo. Um, I don't know. It's just a chill day to explore the map. And then obviously Metroid has some stressful boss fights, so it won't be chill the whole time, but we're just relaxing. Are you planning on progressing today? I think so. I think we're gonna scavenger hunt for a while and then we'll, we'll move on um, probably after break. I don't know how long like Mecha Ridley is gonna take us. It was pretty rough when we tried it the one time. Kind of mixed on the topic. Some games get, get carried away with difficulty, but some feel way too easy. They seem to have gone from one extreme to another. Yeah. Mom the human, welcome in. And Crow, thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Oracle, welcome in as well. We do like exploration. Yeah, Maggie. <laughs> exactly. We like searching every little corner of things. Thanks for the hello. Hmm. I don't... So... I don't, I don't think what we're gonna do is look for all of the completely hidden stuff. I think I'm satisfied looking at this map of Ridley to go, yep, looks like we can leave here. And then we're, we're gonna sacrifice finding every tiny hidden secret 
for the sake of probably trying to progress today, after we get to the boss, um, then maybe we'll we'll go back and pursue some of those missing things. But I also don't want to just go into every room and use a power bomb and not do the exploring of it. I feel like that would oh damn. That would defeat some of the fun of it as well. Like, oh, I know that we're missing stuff. Let's just go powerbomb everything. The catalog today is so wide that there's options for difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just having the options within a single game is so much better than it used to be. Oh, I forgot we can skip this whole room by going underneath. Oh, well. I want these items, I think. Um, something I had not seen before, but I'm sure other games do it, is the way that you can play Celeste. Not a Metroidvania, um, but a super fun... Basically, Celeste is a precision platformer, right? With a really, really cool message. We've only ever gotten to the summit. I haven't played past that. But the way in that game you can turn off, like, all damage, you can give yourself all the extra things like infinite jump if you just want to go through the motions and explore everything the accessibility settings in that game you can make it completely beatable it just the difficulty changes drastically yeah most most games have difficulty settings yep so I haven't picked up Celeste someday Maggie Tried one of the class modes in Chasm, dramatically changed the way the game was played. So... Yeah, we can just... Do we care whether we take the elevator out? I guess we'll take the elevator out since we came in the other way. Sure, we'll save again. Why not? Sykes, hi. Welcome in. How's it going? Happy Friday! I keep saying I'm happy to leave this area, and then I continue looking at the map like, Oh, what did I miss? I don't know what I missed. Also, can we get into that pipe below us? We can. Can we blow it up now that we have power bombs? Do we want to blow it up? Oh, I remember this. Oh, I remember this. Oh, there's a lot happening in here. What? Oh, playing Pokemon Shield. Nice. Played through, watch multiple playthroughs, but still recommend playing it even if you know the story. Yeah. In Morrowind, you only write down something in your journal, like I heard there's a cave behind the two rocks somewhere. No map marker, no other clue, just look for two rocks east of Town X. I think Metroid is one of the games that started out, like, even Samus Returns. I died so many times and it was on normal. A lot of games have challenge modes, yes. This is true too, if it feels too easy, they add extra stuff rather than having it be that hard from the get-go. I don't think we've used that little pipe to the right yet, so we're gonna use it. We're also gonna see if this breaks the glass. I don't think so, because it's like reinforced by this frame. Yeah. Working on your Pokedex, nice. Okay, shall we see where this goes then? We haven't done it yet, right? Oh, that's boring. Eh, whatever. I don't need to save again. Now we're back in Norfair. I think Norfair is also done, so it's time to go back to Brinstar, which we have a shortcut 
to get back there from over here, right? It's a little further up, but there's another cannon up above us. Okay, please. On the other side. There are times when I'd like at least a little direction, but then they just straight up tell you exactly where to look. It's nice when games leave things you to find yourself, yeah. Is it this pillar? No. Oh, right. I didn't think that cannon was this far up. Did we pass it already? Probably. I don't remember. I thought I knew this hallway, but... Clearly not. Oh, we went too far. <laughs> Is this the room? Okay, hang on. Is this the room with that suspicious enemy at the end of it? Yeah! What's going on with this room? They just put that there? It doesn't seem like there's anything. I, I killed that enemy so we can't use it as a platform. It makes me think you can just go up and up and up the ceiling, but you, that's not, that's blocked to us as well. The power bomb didn't re reveal anything. The enemy is just chilling there. What a what a clever thing they did to try to convince you there's something. But I don't think there is. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to keep moving. We've got places to be. Oh, I always forget that that little dip is at the end. It's fine. I can understand people really like to self-explore. Uh, sometimes there isn't a clear indication what you need to do. It can get frustrating when you can't figure out how to proceed without getting out of game help. Yeah. I thought the same thing. There has to be something there, right? I don't know. I said I wasn't going to powerbomb every single room, too, and now we're almost out of powerbombs. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, Brinstar. We're making good progress. Next, we gotta go to Kraid. And I think we've only got the one item pickup on the way there, so let's go see if we can solve that. We are, by following the map like this, we are missing out on some of the little clues and blocks and things, but... I don't know. We'll see what we discover along the way. It's not a lost cause. That's, it's interesting though. That's how I felt about um, Super. I remember being convinced, well, we, we found everything on the map, so there can't be that much more that we missed, right? Oh no, we missed so much. Still pretty good for a first playthrough. For my first ever Metroid game, we finished at like 72, 74%, something like that, of items. You aren't going to power every room, just every room you enter while you have a power bomb, yeah. I like getting stuck, makes it more satisfying when you find the way. Everybody's different, yeah. I don't like being, oh, here. I don't like being stuck, but I do like puzzles where you're like, it's unconventional or it makes you think of things in the game that you didn't think that you could do. Oh, right. Huh. 
it makes you experiment and say, oh, I didn't think I could do this. And then you find out it's, it's something that you can do. It's pretty cool. How do we get the charge before we go through the door? I don't think we do. Maybe just after the door? Oops. Oh, no. How does that work? I don't think we can ball spark directly from the ground, can we? It's not letting me. We'll try one more time. Weird. I remember this room. I remember spending some time in here. Maybe we use our last power bomb in that room to look for secrets. Oh, we have two more now. That's a good sign. Huh? <laughs> All the enemies fell off their hiding places. Yeah, weird. And this is bombable? Eh? What? Can you drop bombs when you're Oh. That is wild. You can drop bombs. We have to be so precise though. Because if I drop two, it's going to make me hop up in the air like that. Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't- I got caught on the ledge. That was weird. I didn't fall down. So we have to bomb the ground and then jump and ball spark to the left. Random thing just popped into my mind. Secrets, but like Smeagol saying sneaking. <laughs> oh, I don't want it to- like, I keep putting a bomb down, and then we get caught on the ledge and we don't fall into the hole. It's tough. This one's tough. Oh, that time I didn't even get the... The spark! We have to feel the spark. No. Not like that. I'm afraid to run too far in the room, but I think the only way we get it is if we go farther into the room and then we have to double back like this and then... Ugh! That's so hard! Who was talking about this game the very first time we played? They were like, yeah, it's really technical. No, but they were saying... I feel like we were talking about how Super Metroid is really technical. This one's just puzzly. I don't know. It's something. It's special. I'm spending so much time getting right on top of that block. Maybe we want to... Oh, I don't know. Maybe there's a different method, but I feel like this is this is it. We haven't even been able to prove our concept yet. Because we keep hopping up in the air. Oh, well, that was fun.
the idea is that we'll jump up and go to the left because we'll be midair after passing through that little door. Oh, that. Oh, this one I don't like. No, okay. Maybe we're supposed to jump up and then we can do it. You lose a lot of time to the bomb jump. Yeah, I wonder if we can do it at the bottom of a bomb jump. Oh, that was closer. I don't think we can do it at the bottom of a bomb jump. I think it has to be after jumping. Oh, and then... Oh, what was that, Jen? That was weird. It feels incorrect. I don't know. I feel like it felt exactly like what we were supposed to do once we discovered that bombable block. Yeah, and you can't you can't jump too high. It seems too precise. I don't know, people rave about the uh the shine spark puzzles in this game. I think that's part of the appeal. I keep dropping a bomb after that instead of doing the arrow input, too. Ooh, okay. Oh. Oh, it didn't let me shine spark to the left because I wasn't... It won't let you shine spark into a wall, at least so far that I've seen. Oh, it's okay, Parker. You're good. Streamlabs got ya. No worries. It's very sensitive. <laughs> it seems like the idea, yeah. Da da. No! Okay, I am getting closer. Shinobi, welcome in. I was looking at your emote um, from the last VOD. I was editing the, the VOD to make the highlight, and I didn't even notice the Luca emote. I love it. I mean, I didn't notice it when we were live, but I noticed it in the VOD. Bombable block just seems like the path back from the other side rather than the solution. No, cause... Uh, okay, we'll get this. I have a suggestion. I think this is right. Yeah, hold off on any... No suggestions or anything yet, but um, I hope we can get it. It could be the path back from the other side. Oh, I keep doing it too early. Oh, I thought that, I think, that that's the first thing that makes me think it's wrong because I thought in order to shine spark, you had to be like putting the input in right after the jump. I didn't think you could jump and then no, but we tested that earlier. You can jump and wait a little bit and still put in the directional input and it'll still work. But my instinct is to do it right after the jump button, which is why we keep running into the same problem. There it is again. It's closer than what we were doing before. It's hard for me to delay. Go, 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 go. Nope.
and we have to run all the way back to that half wall every time. That's not gonna work. No. And this isn't even the hardest one, supposedly. But this feels like the hardest one we've done so far. Because the other one, the one that took me a long time at the top of Criteria, it took me a long time to figure out what we were, what we needed to do, what we were capable of doing. And then once we did figure it out, it didn't take us too much longer after that. But this one, I, I, I can't even test what it is that I think we're supposed to do. I want to at least be able to test it before we move on. It's cool they built the puzzles in, yeah. I do like the puzzles. I think that's off. This lining, oop, that was weird. Lining up that, like where we're supposed to sit right on top of that square. It's, 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 it's super annoying. Return of the what question are they even asking syndrome, exactly. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to play The Witness again. We're playing it on Monday. I wanted to pick it up again this week, but I can't. I don't want to play it off stream. I mean, I could, but... We ha we're not that far into it yet where I feel like we need to show all of it on stream. Once it gets really, really hard or we've explored all the, like, the lower level puzzles, and I'm just stuck all the time, then I'll then I'll probably stop streaming it and just start playing it off stream. Kind of like Baba's you. Oh, that's so hard to line up. I wonder if this isn't it then, because this is just painful. But I don't know how. The reason why I th I think it's this is because if we go over here, there's two crumble blocks, but we used, because we used a power bomb, it didn't show a row of blocks like above the crumble blocks, unless that's just invisible stuff like what we're on right now. But then we should see something else up here. Is there another thing up here that I missed? No, there's no other... Because when there's hidden blocks, it, at least there's usually also one indicator of an entrance, right? Maybe? I don't know. I was doing something else and didn't notice that you've been trying to do. Yeah, we're trying to sprint in from this room, go through the door, immediately... Well, get the shine, come back bounce in the perfect spot and then ball spark to the left it's awful baba is so difficult for you i can't seem to wrap your brain up around logic and movement puzzles it's such a it's just a awesomely brain numbing puzzle game in general he had it and i ruined it uh... I feel like when I wait, oh, what was that? I don't know what that noise was. When I wait too long to shine spark, I'm gonna end up shine sparking so high in the air, it's gonna be above where we need to go anyway. I remember doing this one, it's not good. Oh, it's, it's, it's pretty brutal. Because if I immediately press it, we, we've we done it so many times where I've done the ball spark right into the wall. But if I wait, I feel like I'm going to hit midway up the wall over there. I don't know. Keep wanting to say, but I'm nervous. Going to say the wrong thing? Just hold off. You're doing great, Celestial. You're, you're doing great by holding off. 
if it's I mean if it's even vaguely hinting or or suggesting strategies I don't want to know yet we're just we're vibing and we're attempting this see I think that is still what's gonna happen when I jump up from the lower level but I don't know we'll see Interesting, I was still able to save it after kind of floundering at the beginning there for a second. You don't have to get it first try perfectly into that hole. Well, but then we might not have time coming out of the top of the jump. Ta, you're neato. Have you done this one? Have you played Zero Mission? Did I already ask you that? Oh, I feel like I'm waiting, but I'm not. You've not played it? Okay. Oh, the compliment function is turned off for fun tune. Sadly, we don't... Uh, maybe not sadly. I don't know. For reasons, we don't have the, the full um, command set for fun tune turned on. <laughs> for reasons. Yeah. <laughs> That's compliment, not compliment. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to say anything. The puzzle is a bit complicated. Oh. It suggests food pairings. I like it. I get it. Why? Can you ball spark from falling off of something? I don't think you can do that either, right? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I've done that so many times now. I had a nice glass of wine for lunch. It was so good. What kind of wine? That sounds awesome. Things like I think Beef Wellington and a bowl of Cheerios would go with XYZ. <laughs> uh, yeah, my favorite meal. If your associate's degree in fun to use, nice. Lunch wine. Oh, is it gonna be a wine Friday? We did wine Wednesday. We'll see how things are going with the pursuit of these items when we decide after break. We usually don't bust out the wine until break anyways. Wine's day, yeah. All right, I'm, ooh, that was fun. I'm tempted, and I know I shouldn't, but I'm tempted to ask, is it even worth continuing to try to prove this concept? Because it just does not feel like we're getting anywhere. We're literally hitting a wall. And we haven't explored more of that vertical room. I should probably run around in there and see if there's more to look at. Oh, boo. I'm tempted to ask, wait for it. <laughs> it's a nice risotto moscato di diasti. It sounds good. Adam, thank you for the 17 months. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy Earth Badge, your emotes. Your ad free viewing. I appreciate you. Thanks for the resub. Happy Friday. I hope it's a good one. Don't mind us, we're just strategically propelling 
Samus into walls. That's never happened before. It actually let me ball spark to the left there and hit that wall. I feel like that's progress. Could be wrong. Oh. Doing a lurk while a chill after work. Nice. Enjoy. Yeah, it's that's sounds like the perfect Friday thing. Okay, I did it again. Samus runs so slow, charging the spark. Yeah, it's it feels very, very different from Super Metroid Shine Spark. Nope, hit the wall. Okay, let's give it, should we give it a, a finite value of attempt before I ask if this is even worth it? <laughs> Here's one. Maybe if I give myself an ultimatum, then we'll, we can move on with our lives. Here's two. This is what we did with, um green glitch, green door glitch too. I was like, alright, there's only gonna be X number more attempts because I don't want to sit here the rest of the night. Miss Mango, how's it going? Welcome in. Happy Friday. We need short charge. Yes. I wish this game had short charge. I bet that's a cool thing about what were we talking? What is it called? Um, Super Zero Mission? Does that have short charge in it? Love this game, it's the first Metroid I ever finished. Nice. Two hour ball spark, let's go. And the funny thing is we know how to ball spark, but just this one is eluding me. Doesn't require advanced movement, gotcha. Yeah, I can't get it any closer to the ground if I don't use that bombable block. How many is that, four? I don't want it to be over yet. It's Green Gate Glitch, and I'm only particular about the name because of the acronym GGG. Okay, I keep calling it Green Door Glitch. I'm sorry. You're right. Okay, last one. And then I'll ask the question. <sighs> okay. Safe word. Is it worth it to continue trying to prove this method? Is this a futile pursuit? Wait, that's two that that's two different questions. What else is in this room? We did power bomb this room, but I don't know if we saw everything that there was to see. There's no other blocks in here. Not worth? Really? I was so convinced. What a letdown. Is there... There's not an item marker? There's not a map marker? Oh, here's another block. Just thought it needed a tweak. Yeah, I was very convinced that I knew exactly what to do there, but it's okay, we're learning. It's a complicated question. Okay, I'm. what I'm getting at is should I try something else? Oh, part of it's not correct. Okay, so it's something similar, but not quite right. Why is there one up here? I remember this room. Aren't there a bunch of them in a row? Why did I think there were lots of them? Or is it just this one? Right here. These. Hmm. 
But is there somewhere where we can charge? I keep looking at the map wondering if there's somewhere where I can charge a different one. Is this room up here? Wait. Oh, I see. It's a, it's still a it's a, not a red door. No, I went in here and we can't we don't know how to charge one from in here. No, you're good. That's that's all I want to know for now. Thank you for answering the question. That that was perfect. I usually only ever want a yes or no answer, so Okay, well, I feel like this is going to be just some science experiment, but we're going to try something. You thought you saw both yes and no. Oh, yeah, well, fair. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to do that. It's fine. I know, we just need to glitch one of the enemies so that it'll break all the breakable blocks in the room. We just need to use our address disruptor. I can't, okay, if I, I can't get up on this ledge. Can I? Okay. Oh, they regenerate. I don't understand. I'm just staring at this. There's two or three shine spark blocks in a row horizontal. There's, I forget how many crumble blocks, I think two maybe. I know, they're not shine spark blocks. They're speed blocks. So much confusion.
Does it have? Does it have something to do with the shine, the speed blocks up here? Hey VT, how's it going? The new Dread trailer is hugely pog. I haven't watched it. I don't think I will be watching it because of the spoilers, but I've heard it's really good. Don't spoil, please. Yeah. A lot of us are not watching it, I think. Or I guess it's like a good split and we want to be respectful of both decisions. Okay, yeah, safe word. Does it have to do with these speed blocks up here? Do we have to use these? No. Ugh. Does, do we use these little friends? These little bugs? Do they help us? That would be nice. Chai, how's it going? Welcome in. There are bugs that crawl on you. They're really cute. They help you get through some of the doors. Those, cr those speed blocks are a waste of time. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know what to do. So we know that we can sprint in from here. We get the charge. I've been immediately like balling up. I don't know if I'm supposed to get the charge from up there. What if we go in here, immediately get the charge? You can't shine spark down. I wish you could. It's a pretty calm morning, let myself sleep in. Nice, I slept in a little bit today too. It was raining, I was enjoying the, the sounds of the rainstorm. Shine Spark speedrunning puzzles like that are one of the reason I've never 100% completed this game or fusion. Yeah. The question I've been seeing a lot of people using Pog. What does it mean? What does Pog mean again? Is it like play of the game or something originally? And now it just means GG. Whoa. Well done. from a guy who won a championship pog game. There you go. I'm still convinced it has something to do with with this. Tried this particular puzzle. Oh, Spirit Crystal's here. Hi, Spirit Crystal. For 20 minutes and never got it. Yeah, we've been at this one for a while. At the moment, trying to upload videos of game playthroughs to YouTube rather than real name. Gotcha. It's like saying something's awesome, yeah. Yep, exactly, Celestial. I don't think we... Uh, I don't know. I don't think we have time to get to the end of that tunnel to use Shine Spark. Okay, so... I don't want to just leave this undone. But... 
I'm having trouble trying to figure out what to test out next. are scarce on the power bomb drops too. I feel like we've come so far with this one it's gonna be hard to give a a subtle direction like nudge without just straight up being like this is how you do it. There's a vague hint. I could tell you if I word it carefully. Oh, goodness. Yeah, because I'm just trying the same thing I was doing before at this point. Like, I don't know what to do next. I'm bummed. I don't... I, I think part of me is on a timeline of like, yeah, I want to try to get this so that we can move on today. And I don't think I'll be mad if I... I don't know. I don't think I'll be mad either way. Like, I can leave it and try to get it later when I'm not playing on stream, or we could check the box of getting it now, and then we can move on. I think either way, we have to, like, get the item now or decide we're not going to try anymore. Feel like something else there's you, that you can try? Found a way to help out and help people holding on to tips in chat? Some self-care? What do you mean, Llama? <laughs> oh, Bean Garden! We haven't seen that one in forever! Everybody hydrate, water the Bean Garden! Thanks, Llama. Cheers. It's a, it's a time to do self-care and drink water and also flex how many channel points you have. <laughs> we have an overlay for that one either that one's like straight up just dump your points water the water the garden cheers have the right idea um yeah i don't know that there's anything i'm thinking of that i can try I, is there okay here's a safe word question is there something that we will learn from another puzzle elsewhere that will help me, that will teach me what to do here. That I'll go, oh, I need to go back and use that at the other puzzle. Because if that's the case, then I'll probably wait and just get this one off stream. I wish there was a spot where there was more running distance. So I didn't have to keep charging this through a door. And then I could, I could figure out how ball spark does and does not work. And what things I can do. Sitting on a huge pile of points. Nice. I know some of you are. Sitting on lots of channel points. Kinda of did it last playthrough in Torian. I feel like whatever ball spark we got before was an accident. Before we did the criteria one, I did not how to do I did not know how to do this properly. But it's not something we need to go higher up in this room for. It doesn't seem like. I don't know. Maybe can we jump up? No, the only way I was able to get to this ledge was by doing a space jump. 
And we can't ball spark down. I don't think. Do you have to drop off of the ledge? That seems awful. That seems worse than what we're doing now. You know everything that you need for this puzzle? Hey John, welcome in. I think we do. I, I think yeah, I'm just hitting a wall. We have the tools, I just haven't figured it out. Oops. Plan is to keep saving up until 200k? That's a lot of points. I don't have anything for 200k. But you can do back to back a bunch of redeems in a row. <laughs> No, that didn't work. And then why is that bombable thing there? That's the escape. Oh, should I ask if the Should I ask if the bombable block is just the escape route? Will that give me a better sense of direction? Do we have to charge the spark then walk back through the door? And then ball spark from up here? No, there's no way. I love watching people puzzle through the game. Eureka moments are so great, yeah. They're absolutely worth it when, uh, when we can get them. Don't overthink it, too late. Oh, I'm so bummed. I felt like we knew exactly what we were supposed to do here and it didn't work out. I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to like get to this point and do other stuff, but I, I have no idea. I don't know. I'm stuck on the answer that I thought was right. So I think we're gonna have to keep going. Uh, let's go try this other one. I, I hate that. It's so unsatisfying, but I, I have no idea. This looks like a reinforced tube, but it reminds me of Meridia. I think this one's a ball spark puzzle too. This one is weird from what I remember. Oh, somebody finally dropped a power bomb. Do we need to take these bugs with us to help? I don't think so. But I remember... What else is in here? That's it. That one's a pain in the butt too! Where are we supposed to charge that one? There's no way. Because you'll never make it down that far. You'll never hold on to the charge for that long. These are... These are kind of awful, actually. 
I don't understand. I, I just feel like there's some aspect of this that I'm missing because... I, I get... Okay, maybe there's something on the right side of the room? Are there more squares in here? No. Is there some other entrance over here? Oh. Oh dear. Oh no. I do not approve. Uh, okay. So these are connected? These are back to back. Because if I exit out of here... It's not that there's an item in this room. It's that this is a path to this other room over here. Maybe. Is there something up here? All that trial and error just for a missile. But now there's something in this room to the left, like straight across that hallway. So I still feel like we're, we need to get a... A shine spark going and then... Go through this room? But this block right here is not... Oh, it is. Ugh. The game suffers from try everything sy syndrome. If I go, if I move anymore, we're gonna fall in the crumble blocks and that's how we escape. So now... Oh, but see, this isn't- this block above us is not a speed block, which means if we come in from the right, we're not- it's not gonna work? This is one of the reasons I said last time I'm hard noping future 100% runs I do with this, yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to break that. I kind of wanted that platform. In the world now I don't even there we go it's like I want to get at least one bomb jump this one has been staring at us and taunting us for so long Maybe there's something... I don't know. So I feel like these two items, or this one item, is gonna get orphaned and left behind. Because we still haven't gone to Crade. We should at least go check out Crade. And see what we missed. You know? Thank you. 
I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, do we need to save? Sure, but I think we're gonna save pretty soon after we enter Kraid, so... Are we leaving secrets behind? Probably. What's over here? Um, I guess we could refill our weapons. Our bombs. This will do bombs too, right? Yeah. Okay. Wow, we spent so long on that with no nothing to show for it. Maybe we'll have better success here. Except, I don't see any... Oh, we talked about Kraid when we finished it. Because we there was like one and a half things left, somebody said. That there were secrets in here that we didn't get. Have a good lurk, Chai. Thanks, I appreciate it. I do like space jumping through everything that we couldn't space jump through before. Oh, this tunnel. Okay. Um... feeling really defeated because if that's the only let's look at the map again is that the only thing that we had left I don't think I want to do hints to get invisible secrets today should we go back for that one square of and we're missing this too that one square of Turian Or more than one square. Two squares? Do we think that's worth it? Ooh. How do we get to the entrance from... For that? Is it, um... Here, hang on. From Brinstar, right? Oops. to save. Yeah, we want to go all the way up this hallway. It's a balance of so many games struggle with. They either don't tell you anything or they straight off give you the solution. Yeah, it's a really hard balance. That's why when you get a game that does it so well, it's um, remarkable. Everybody raves about it. No, we, we never got to 100% of Super Metroid either, so... My, uh, my record's not good right now. I don't remember what our percentage completion for Prime was. I think it was higher than... Super. I think. But maybe not. 
I want to say it was in the low 80s instead of the low 70s. And then since since beating Prime, I have not gone back to it. Since beating Super Metroid, we, we went back afterwards and found some things that I had missed. And I think we left off at like the mid 80s. Uh, and that was it. Kane, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Games like Link's Awakening, you have the optional owl statues that give you hints, but you don't have to talk to them if you don't want to. More games need to do things like that optional health. Help. help. Optional help. <laughs> Sykes, thank you for the host. I like, um, we played, I played Machinarium a long time ago on my own. And we replayed it on stream. And I, I like that there's a mini game you have to do to unlock a hint if you want it. Or you have to find... There's some ga games where you have to find the hint key. And then if you want to use the hint, you can. But you don't have to. I do like that. Metroiding is good, Kane. We're trying to get all the items. Um, but we've already hit a couple that I couldn't figure out. Which is disappointing. We did get one earlier that I thought wasn't possible at this point in the game, so I'm excited about that. And now, apparently, we're going back into Turian to get a couple of squares of the map that I missed. Machinarium is great. I love that game. It was in my top five games played for a long time, just because of how much I replayed it, how cute it was, how... I don't know. I thought the puzzles were really good. Some of them were easier, some of them were harder. Fill the map, yeah. We're gonna try? I think... Are those blocks not in the Mother Brain room, though? Can we even go back there? This is gonna be weird. Wait, why, why do I keep... I don't need to go through this loop, do I? Oh. This is gonna be rough. Does, um, I guess we'll find out if screw attack damages Metroids. Or are they all gonna be gone now? Oh, this is weird. I feel like it was an intentional choice to try to extend the game for hardcore core fans. We fought Mother Brain last... No, not even last time. Uh, two streams ago. Also, this music is... This song's a lot louder than the other ones. And... Last stream, we finished the stealth area. And we started our quest for 100%. And today, we're continuing our quest. But I think we're gonna hit... I don't know. We're gonna fall short of it. And we're gonna try to beat the game today. Indy, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. That's the game plan. The mother brain fight, oh my gosh, was so stressful, so intense when we did it. Magus, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. How was your ladder race? How did it go? Give us the update. Hi, friends. How's it going? I usually don't bother with map completion, except in games like Castlevania Portrait of Ruin, where they give you the, le the late post-game level to unlock by completing 88.8% .8 of the entire map. You won! Nice! Good job! GG's. I'm happy for you. Making lots of progress. How'd you like the Metal Gear Metroid part? I mean, it took some getting used to. I guess I'm glad it was short, because then I felt like the novelty of it didn't get... Oh, this is all burnt up. This looks cool. The novelty of it didn't get worn out. I didn't absolutely hate it. Oh, this is very strong acid now. Should I even be here? What's gonna be over here for us? Oh, nothing. Just where the brain used to be. What's up there? Alright, well we filled the map. We can practice the climb that I hate. Oh, but now we have space jump, so it's a joke. Kind of. 
unless I miss one and we plummet to the oh no but we have um what's it called re re-roll <laughs> re-jump don't know how much I won by my opponent's still at it oh oops okay well nice Respin, thank you. <laughs> Do we want to go back to Criteria? So it seems like, and I know there's hidden secrets, but it seems like the only things we're missing are this section. Oop, wait, go back. Trozodia. This gray hallway of Trozodia, which we spent a lot of time on Wednesday trying to figure out, and I couldn't get it. I don't know how to do it. We're missing... This item... This this is blocked by a single chain of speed blocks. It's a, it's a supers thing. That's all that we can see from Brinstar. Crade, I know there's stuff we missed, but you can't see any of it on the map, so we're gonna call it good for now. We finished, finished, Norfair, finished. Oh, wait, is Norfair, where were we working on that thing, though? That you can't even see it. Oh, I'm going in circles now. Oh, right, it's Brinstar because there was a spot through those two, like, long vertical blue rooms that I think you can ball spark through them. Oh, this is so hard. Ended up doing 100% map unintentionally last time I played Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. Just to try to remember where all the items I wanted were. Nice. Can I be 100 with this area? I'm not sure what you mean by that. It came down to a boss hunt, and it seems my opponent forgot about a location. That's rough. That sucks. Never fun to, to get to that point. The stealth part surprised me, and I enjoyed the change. Yeah. It's different. I've never seen that. Gonna head out now? Okay, Llama, have good sleep. We'll catch you later. I know, I hope you get to make it to the music stream. Aria was Castlevania Pokemon? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Alright, friends. That's a recap of what we can't get to, what I haven't been able to figure out. I think we will just go back up to Criteria and then back into... We can maybe make our way over there and then I think we're going to take our stream break. Nintendork, welcome in. Uh, we've been collecting items. That's about it. Can I give you an idea about Turian? Like, getting items there? We did... We... You collect enemy abilities, you collect souls of monsters. Oh, cool. Uh, the music command, it's um, August is the is the music stream command because it was like an August event and it was a sub goal. Exclamation point August. For try there. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Is So you're telling me it's worth it to go back to Turian. I'm getting that. <laughs> impression now, which I wasn't going to do because I don't know. I thought we were ready to move on. God, I don't I don't like this area though, but it's nice that all the metroids are gone, I guess. It takes forever to climb up this hallway. We can leave the other direction.
Oh, this is this part. This evil. Oh, evil acid will kill us. Oh, we went into the basement. I love they went the mile to make it look destroyed. I it's really cool how they made it look burnt up and destroyed and everything. Wish you could get some of the abilities earlier. So, oh, I guess what I what I underestimated today because I knew I wanted to do an item hunt, but I underestimated my love of following the map because right now I have less motivation to just go around poking at doors and things when I don't have any indication that there's something hiding. Oh, but look, there's so much stuff in here. Ugh, fine. Fine. Oh, I have to do this. Ha, huh, too slow. We talked about it earlier. There's a way to know how much I have left just by the totals alone. Huh? Uh, I don't know if there's another way besides that, but that's what we were talking about. I'm too far to the right? Oh, what? Okay, weird. So it's these two? I have to do this again. Oh, it's those two. I thought it was these ones. Okay, that'll make a difference. Hang on. It didn't give us anything. The heck? Now we're gonna start using every power bomb. Why would they put that there? Are those not things we can stand on up here? No. There's nothing we can stand on except these. Did we already do this? Yeah, we did. And there's nothing in the ceiling in most of these places. These all regenerate. Try not to land in the Mountain Dew. I like the Mountain Dew. Uh, yeah, I guess we can refill. Celestial! <laughs> I feel like you're making it worse by repeating the same question over and over. Just chill, please. You're not the- whatever it is you're hanging on to, I'm sure you're not the only one that's hanging on to it. You're not the only one that knows all the secrets of this game. There are plenty of people that know this game really well and have been completely quiet the whole playthrough, so please, just relax. Oh, that thing doesn't fill our power bombs either? Why did I think it did? Or did I just not? Eh, whatever. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's not this area. It's the ones on the mothership. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot we're not on the mothership. Any secrets on the bottom floor? No. Well, we got the one thing. That might be the only thing in here. That's fine. It's not so bad running around in here when there aren't a million Metroids trying to kill us. There are so many things I wanted to reveal about Axiom Verge that would have made life easier if they were gotten earlier, but just keeping quiet and waiting for the Eureka moment when they were found was worth it. Exactly. I feel like no one gains anything from just telling me what the secret is. You don't you don't get the Eureka moment. I don't get the Eureka moment. All, all you get is the satisfaction of showing off that you know a thing, but that doesn't, that doesn't benefit me or the other people watching me play this for the first time. That's like what you would do if you were streaming the game. It's way better with the squishies. Uh, is it though? <laughs> I mean, I always end up liking Metroids after the fact and you're like oh yeah they're pretty cute actually look we have this cool bttv emote of them but during they're a huge pain all this i feel uh this way as well when watching streamers getting the moment in outer wilds yep exactly Outer Wilds is a big one because it's so non-linear and you, you're so curious to see what order people are going to do things in and when they're going to discover different bits. Like, I had a huge aha moment. Actually, I feel like I shouldn't talk about Outer Wilds too, in too much detail because spoilers. But I had a huge aha moment in one area in particular and almost got teared up on stream because you're like dang this is coming together so cool but the second somebody tells you in that game like oh spend a little bit longer in this room or spend a go back to that one planet it then you don't get that moment for yourself talking about outer wilds is tricky i'm like wait even though people here have seen me play this i don't want to say something if somebody is gonna play it exactly miss mango Thank you for redeeming human kindness, Celestial. I appreciate it. I do. Thank you. And sending human kindness from me to you and to chat. Happy Friday. It means so much to me that you're here. I'm glad that you're hanging out and watching Metroid. We're chilling with the lo-fi. Um, truly, you make this community special. And I feel the excitement and the enthusiasm for this game. I appreciate it really want to play Outer Wilds. Yeah, I'm not very far, but I'm so excited to uncover more. Nice. Oh, I will say no more. It's such a gem. It's like space exploration game. Yeah, it's, it's, how to even phrase it? It's a space exploration game. It's a puzzle game. It's almost like picking up all the clues and solving a mystery in space. There's only one puzzle in the game I feel okay spoiling, and that's because it's not a puzzle, it's a troll by the developers and doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. Mallow. We still have the Mallow command. I can't get rid of it. Oh, I said I was gonna go... Uh, well, let's just go down this way. Sounds really interesting, might try it out. Oh, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And we have a whole community of people. Here, let me plug really quick. A whole community of people just waiting to watch you play Outer Wilds. Why does that command never work? Interloper. Um, 
that love watching first playthroughs with no spoilers and like go in and lurk and watch and see how far you're gonna get. Uh, if you've played it, if you've beaten it, feel free to join the Discord. If you have not beaten it, you have to wait until you finish the game to join because we're so adamant about spoiler-free Outer Wilds playthroughs. I've played a little bit of Dead Space Nintendo. I've watched the whole series, but I have only completed a small part of it myself. A friend of mine put it pretty well. To tell someone why Outer Wilds is a good game could almost be a spoiler itself. Yeah, it's true. It's very true. The music is flawless. Oh, it's great. We're gonna pass by these secrets again that I don't understand how to get. Oh, such is life. You should play one and two. Playing is a much different experience. I I played some of one. Um, I'm good. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to it for another Halloween or something. But it's 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 not really my scene. It's very scary. It was much more fun to watch for me than it was to play. I liked watching it as a horror movie rather than playing through it myself. And yeah, I watched 1, 2, and 3. I saw all of them back in college. My roommate played them, so I got to... Ba basically backseat game. I don't think I did, but I, I absolutely watched like over their shoulder and tried not to be obnoxious. Can we not... Uh... Oh... Oh, okay, just kidding. I was very confused for a second. Ha, huh, Jen. <laughs> Good stuff. Dead Space isn't really a Jen game. It was cool to try. I was proud of myself for the fact that we attempted it. And honestly, we had a lot of issues with my PC back then. So I could probably replay it with the new PC way more easily, but I don't know. The worst part about streaming horror games is having to use headphones. Yeah, that too. How's it going, actual? <laughs> I'm the same, have no interest in playing scary games, prefer chill ones where you can explore. Space games are obsessed with combat and colonizing. Um, what else? We played inside. No, we played. We play inside. What are the two that are that? It's inside and there's oh limbo. I've played limbo on my own like ages ago, not on stream. Inside we played on stream. Really creepy, pretty scary, but I was able to do it. We played as a Halloween charity redemption. We played slender. It's way too scary. We got through a bunch and then it was too much and I couldn't continue. Same thing, I for that reason, there's a, there's a part in Slender where you're... This is Slender, what is it called? Like 13 pages, 8 pages. It's the extended version, not the original one. There's a part where you're being chased through like this... I don't even know, like warehouse, mechanical, underground, something or other. Oh, And it's not Slender, it's like another demon lady or something. It was so scary. And table, thank you for redeeming human kindness, sending human kindness from me to you and to chat. I appreciate you. Thank you for being a part of this community. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad to be getting to know you better and have you as a part of the community. And happy Friday. Um, I feel like I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry. But it's it's so nice to be able to have that have that redemption, share a little bit of kindness with you all. Spoilers what, that you're being chased by a scary lady. I guess you're right. It is spoilers. I'm sorry. If you were playing, if you were planning on playing Slender Eight Pages, <laughs> I feel like it's not a spoiler to say you will be chased, though. That's just the nature of the original game. Oh, I can't. Okay. Ooh. 
Was this how we got out from... Yeah. Oh! But we said we wanted to go through here because... There's a section of the map that we couldn't see before. But we did go through here, so what are we missing? I said I was gonna go on stream break too, and then we got distracted. Imagine that. It's a weird little area right there. Hmm. Cause you look at the map, there's something it looks like there's supposed to be something right above us, but I don't see any crumble blocks or anything. I don't know how to get up there. Getting distracted? Gasp. I know. Unheard of. Alright. 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 I don't know how to get to this part of the map. I don't know how to get to that other part of the map. Oh, is it here? Did I just overlook this every time? Probably, because you only come over here when you're in an absolute panic. Is that an easier way to get that other item? Is this where you're supposed to go to save the animals? I have so many questions. Okay. Oh, maybe that's the only way out, because those are... um those blocks. Wee. What am I trying to do now? I'm trying to get us back to Chozodia. The only horror movies I like are scary movie series. I could never play a game like Hello Neighbor. Oh my gosh, same. I've watched, th there are so many scary games that I can watch other people play. I would never be able to play Hello Neighbor. Cause it, the whole point is it jump scares you every time you're sighted by the guy. And every time he like stares you down, dun dun dun. Which is, I'm actually really afraid that Dread is gonna be like, so that'll be fun. <laughs> But we're playing Dread. We have to. That's why we're doing Fusion first, to see if I can even handle it. Although, the way they did the chase, chasing in this game was not bad. It was, it was, they sounded an alarm whenever they saw you, but it wasn't, I don't know. You probably get, you probably get used to it in Hello Neighbor if it happens to you a bunch in a row. Um... Phasmophobia, I like watching. I could never play it myself. Dead by Daylight, I like watching. I could never play it myself. Too much. Too stress. Too stress, too scare. You love Phas. It's a cool game. I really like the idea of it. I like watching people like strategize through it. I just, I would be too freaked out when something responds. I like that you can play with friends though, that makes it easier. Or makes it like... You, you, it's the same way, <laughs> it's the same way I feel about PUBG. If I'm talking with a group of friends, when you hear like gunshots, it's not gonna completely stop my heart because there's other things going on. But when I'm playing by myself in my room, just in quiet, and then all of a sudden you hear gunshots, or all of a sudden you hear a ghost. Too scary. Uh, I guess now I'm trying to get to a save room. I don't know. I'm talking too much and trying to figure out what our next move is. Oops. Uh, it still feels weird 
to me, dread is a real thing. I remember being an Easter egg in a metric game like 10 years ago. Yeah. Even Baldi's basic scares me. I don't know what that one is, Van Table. I watched the newest dread thing and it's really filled with spoilers, but it's beautiful. Nice. I got overzealous earlier. It's all right. Just, I, I don't know. I'm having, I have a lot of patience because I know not everybody's used to spoiler free playthroughs, but it, it, we don't have endless patience, especially when there's other people in chat trying to enjoy it too. So it's okay. Uh, I don't know, but we'll, if, if you keep doing it, it's not just going to keep being deleted messages and verbal warnings. At some point, it's it's just not the type of channel for you if you can't handle a first playthrough, you know. My ladder opponent finished. I won by half an hour. Oh, that's like such a bittersweet thing of making progress and like, having a big win but i feel for that person that's like last locationing something i hate i it's a horrible spot to be in my cousins want me to hurry up and build a pc so i can play phasma with them nice meggy if you if you do you'll have to tell me how you like it oh i guess i'm well we found a save i'm kind of walking past walking towards that one puzzle that we couldn't get before um, and I don't know if I want to try that one again. I think the second half of stream we might have to try to beat the game. Because I don't know how long that's going to take us. Or should we wait and just do items today and then do a different stream to try to beat it? I don't know. It's true, you can always whisper a mod. You can always ask, hey, is this something that I can ask in chat? Is this something that Jen will want to know? That's totally fine to whisper a mod. Last locationing a boss hunt in an easy location. That's a big oof. Oh, it's tough. All right, friends. Oh, Lenith, hi, welcome. We are just about to go on break. It's good to see you. Um, we've been doing item hunting today. We got a, a good amount of things, but there's some that are really puzzling me. So maybe on break I will have an epiphany and decide what I want to do if we want to keep struggling with the items or if we want to move on. But it's the type of game where even if we get to the end, I think I can open the save file pre-boss fight and go back. Kind of like Axiom Verge. Love Zero Mission, 100% it a few years back. Nice! I hope to someday. Maybe it won't be all on stream though. Parker, take care. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, Marcus, welcome in. For anybody just coming in, we will be back very shortly. I just need a quick little break, and then we'll we'll um we'll open up the game again. Thanks, friends. Be right back. Welcome back, humans. I hope you had a good break. We. I'm gonna dive back into this game. I don't know that I had an epiphany, but I needed to stretch and get up for a bit. Um. Hi, friends. We've got a little bit of wine. We've literally, and maybe figur figuratively, I don't know, let our hair down. We're gonna relax and uh, see what else we can accomplish today. There's something that can help you with item hunting and unlock more found. Okay, I think that's what Nintendork was talking about too. I'm I'm at I I almost want to do a poll. Do you all want to continue the lo-fi and item hunt today and do the boss another time? Or do you want to move on and just go for the boss today? I don't know that anyone was waiting for like one particular event or another to happen. We could also still try to do both. I just feel like a couple of those items I am not going to have an epiphany for today. But I am I am I am curious about looking at the percentage because then like I can know how close we are before we decide if we're going to go to the boss or like I can set a point where I'm ready to move on. Trav, welcome in. Hi. Happy Friday. Cheers, friends. You're here with curls. It's pretty. Thanks, Sykes. 
It's just, um, from being in a bun like that. We got lucky. It turned out okay this time. Sometimes it's like... <laughs> it just looks bizarre. Um, yeah, it's spoiler free, so I think I'm at the point... Yeah, no, that's okay, Nintendork. Thank you for asking. I, I think I'm at the point where that's gonna be a good tool for us to have. I know, I'm sorry I'm so picky about it, but I think we're ready. We've had a couple people, you and Marcus both bringing it up. Maybe somebody else earlier, too. We have to do the boss to find item counters? Okay. So it's almost... Almost Hollow Knight-esque, but not quite. I, I don't have any other games like that to base it off of for percentage. Is that what you were gonna say too, Marcus? If you finish the game, you'll get a marker to the save file. And it'll unlock the counters. You don't need to beat the game, just the boss. Oh, that's two different answers. And you don't have to start a new game. Which which I, I also kind of thought, like, well, we're gonna go to the, the end and beat the boss. And then, um, excuse me, go back and we should be able to open the file. It's the game, not boss. Oh. Okay. So then... Then I feel like we're far enough that if we do item hunting today, it's just gonna be a lot of, like, floundering around the map without those counters. We're not gonna know how close we're getting. Keeps the counters. Huh. Alright. You all ready for this boss then, I guess? Bosses? We don't know yet if Mecha Ridley is the end of it. Mecha Ridley was really hard, though. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm gonna change our title to Shine Spark slash Fight Ridley 2. Since I think we're done item hunting for a little bit. Judging how the boss, when you have 100%, it might be a good idea to fight it on any percent first. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, well, and we've talked- I know that there's multiple endings of this game, too. I don't think it's- well, maybe it is spoilers, but I found out on accident from chat and also from Google <laughs> because of looking for pictures of- looking for pictures of Samus in the Zero Suit <laughs> as a reference for a potential maybe- Future cosplay? Zero Mission Zero Suit, though, not Smash Brothers Zero Suit. And in doing so, they talk about different endings, so whoops. Sounds NSFW treading. It wasn't that bad. Samus, just googling pictures of Samus is like... Don't do it on your work computer just in case. Because she's... <sighs> I don't know. I, the internet did her dirty. She's she's a warrior. She's such a badass, and yet everyone wants to show like their depiction of her sexual being. I'm like, I don't, I don't agree with this. How did we open this? Oh, these are crumble blocks. Huh? Okay. How do I get out of here? Oh, we just gotta keep going to the right. There's zero suit, then there's zero suit. <laughs> the ending images are awesome, yeah. Zero suit is up there with Ayla in terms of cosplay. There's zero suit, there's Justin Bailey, there's like the zero suit, the thing that she's that it shows in Super Metroid that she's wearing underneath. Her armor is really cool, that's like a different version. There's so many different versions of how Samus looks, which is also why she's so fun to cosplay. I feel like even just playing things like I do where we're just kind of playing on the color scheme and maybe not going for exact accuracy depiction of armor. It's so fun. What is this? How do I open this? Nah. 
Respect your character, yeah. Well, hot. I can't stand that sort of art of her. I don't like the NSFW depiction of Samus, yeah. Uh, Dr. Themo Worm? How's it going? Welcome in. Took me a second. Is this like the birthday suit you wear to the party of your birthday versus the birthday suit you wore on the day of your birth? Yeah, kind of. I like that. I keep, I have to look at the map. I don't know this area. Somehow I still don't know this area super well. Do you know why it's called Justin Bailey? Well, it's the password that you had to input. But then I, I remember reading that there's no consensus on who Justin Bailey is. That they, they said it was like a developer or someone who worked on the game, but it's not actually. But I could be wrong. I read this quite a while ago. It's an infinite, infamous internet rule. If it exists, there's porn of it. No character is safe if you Google enough for it. Yeah. Sad, but true. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's just, I wish you could, like, better specify what it is you're looking for. Did I just lock myself in again? Oh, no. Thankfully. How do I get out of here? Bailey is slang for bathing suit. I think I read that too, and that that's also not actually true. Or they couldn't find things to back it up. It could be... I don't know. It could be true. This was back when we did Super Metroid. I was reading about it. Password is random. Justin Bailey was luck, but not sure. Kind of funny. It is kind of funny. There's so many rumors about it. Justin a Bailey. Yeah, I like that explanation. Oh, we're getting really beat up because I'm chatting here. Not paying attention to my health. We are very strong now, but not infinitely strong. I'm glad we have these. The manga is canon. I don't know that I'll be reading the manga or watching the voiceovers of it, but I, I I'll read about I'll read about Samus' story. I'll I'll do the Cliff Notes version. <laughs> I'm still mad about this tube, because we found something that I thought that I could was it just in this room? Yeah. I'm mad about that. I wonder if you can go up through the bottom though instead of having to charge the shine spark from the right hand side. Um I'm not going to get hung up on it and I'm going to keep moving. <laughs> Or at least I'm gonna try. We're back in the mothership. Oh, space jump, please. Oh, it's because we're getting hit with missiles. I do really like Space Jump. I feel the same way about it, though, as I did in Super, which is that I miss... Uh... Oh, that was... Okay. I miss Wall Jump. It completely takes away your... the necessity to do any wall jumping. And that's sad. Space Jump and Zero Mission is great. It's, it's better than Super, for sure. It's way easier to keep a string going of jumps and to like go infinitely vertical. Fave item, you don't say. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, Pants McPants, thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Oh, I want my save room back. Okay, I think we got it. Yeah, yeah. 
space jump should have been a double jump. I wish what would be what would be my perfect idea of space jump? A separate button still being able to wall jump but not but not getting rid of space jump? I don't know. I guess just a double jump maybe. That's not as exciting. I guess I mean it's not that I dislike it. You get it late enough in the game that you have all this time before this to use wall jump and then by the time you get it you're like okay yeah i'm ready for space jump so i think they did a great job zero missions got some really good stuff going for it are these what is this missiles yeah you love the sound effect for followers every time it's from adventure time Finn the human is welcoming you to Jen the human's channel. Sniper Snake, thank you for the follow as well. Uh, you want to go down and to the left, not up and to the right. Excuse you. Excuse you. Oh, Samus, please. I forget what we were talking about, um, before we got on the, uh, the Zero Suit Kick. Oh, we were talking about alternate endings. That was how we got on the, the, the Zero Suit discussion, which is very interesting. Trav, welcome back to the human race. Thank you for the resub. Enjoy your Earth Badge, your emotes, your ad previewing. We're very glad to have you. Thank you, thank you. We're fighting the lobsters today. Hey, Admiral, welcome in. I love that everyone calls these lobsters. I feel like that never crossed my mind because I was just always looking at them as Game Boy Advance versions of the Met the Prime Pirates, which they are. But I don't. They don't look like lobsters to me, even with their giant red claws and shelled bodies. I don't know. What do you mean by alternate endings? Uh, there's like different endings with different art at the end of it, right? Maybe I shouldn't ask. Maybe it's too many spoilers anyways. Oh, this room is so cool. Oh, oh yeah, we did this too. Do, do power bombs break the glass in here? Wouldn't that be super interesting if it did? But this is reinforced structured glass. So it doesn't crack. Four awesome months. I'm so glad you found us, Trav. I feel like it feels like it's been longer than four months. Some of the resubs I see, I'm like, wait, we've only known you for that long? Really? Transparent aluminum. Yeah, yeah. Consider it different gallery images. Not that they result in... Yeah, it true. They're not alternate endings, because it doesn't do anything to the plot. Oh, thank you, Space Jump, for the reminder. Yeah. <laughs> You're not ruining the vibe. I meant to- I knew I wanted to do that before we progressed. This is the perfect moment to switch. Goodbye, Lo-Fi. Um, I'm still gonna leave the gate- the, the stream title, but we're gonna turn our music back on. Okay. Are we ready? No? I don't feel ready. This fanfare, this is why we switched to uh, lo-fi beats. Is it too loud? Or is this about what we've been listening to it at? No lo-fi for the boss fight. I mean, depending on how many attempts we do, maybe. But we'll start out with the boss music. Sometimes I think, have I been here for a year? It doesn't feel like I've been here that long. If you don't want to go through the requirements of each image, 
I recommend looking them up. Yeah, I mean, I think I've seen a couple already unintentionally. It's down here. place during kind of a dark time. It's been a cozy place of comfort. I'm so glad, Magus. I'm glad you found us. I'm glad you all found us. Even if you're brand new and you just found us today, it's just getting started. Just wait. I hope you stick around. We've had people with us since I've, we've, we've played all different kinds of games. Uh, and we're really, really on a Metroid kick right now. I don't know how long we'll be on a Metroid kick, at least past Dread, and we are going to play Castlevania, and then we'll see what happens. We'll see where we go. Cabbage, welcome in. I'm brand new, but you're all cool. Sykes. There's no witness this weekend. Witness is on Monday. Oh, we got one. Instead of Sunday this weekend. This week. Yeah, we, um, we moved it back just one day. Can't wait to see you do fusion. I'm excited for fusion too. This I'm not doing this right. But I don't know, uh I don't know if it's worth it. Okay, boss fight. We got distracted. Let's go. So many secrets in this dang ship. Cabbage, thank you for redeeming human kindness. For you and for Magus, we'll do both. And for chat, sending human kindness from me to you, to Magus, to the whole chat. I'm really glad to know you. I'm glad you're a part of the community. I'm I'm so glad we could be for, there for you in a dark time and, and you make the how to say this? You fully round out the community. It wouldn't be the same without you. Um, thank you for putting yourself out there and sharing stuff about yourself, too. And feeling comfortable enough to do so. All the smiles, all the love. Lots of human kindness redeems today. I may have gotten the witness and dove into it this week. Nice! How are you liking it? We did get distracted by the shine spark. I still feel like the music's a little too loud. Um, let me look at it. Is that, is that too quiet? I'm gonna adjust it for a second. Why do lobsters have secret passages? I'd rather have straightforward hallways. Yeah. Forgot the witnesses on Monday. I'm gonna miss it, but there's the VOD. True. Better. Okay. It was feeling like a bit much. And now we're here. So, uh, yeah, this should be fine. Everything is fine. Don't touch me. Your claws hurt. Don't touch me. Can you not get to me up here? Okay, well, that's good. Oop, but if I don't move in time... Do you ever, like, open your beak to... shoot at me? You adjust where your head is based on where I'm standing, it looks like. I, I can't do that anymore. That's not working. I feel like we're supposed to go... 
under your claw. No. Oh, are we supposed to shoot at these pipes in the ceiling, maybe? These red and orange things? Oh, no, we're just supposed to survive until those come out and then figure out the next part. Ooh. Oh. Sounded like a really loud old-timey printer, yeah. Uh, Sniper Snake, thank you so much for the Prime. I appreciate it. Welcome to the human race. Enjoy your Earth Badge, your emotes, your ad free viewing. We're very glad to have you. Thanks for coming in. Ridley's a bot. Uh, Ridley doesn't start out as a bot. There's also a bunch of different versions of Ridley. There's uh I can't think of the versions right now, but I know there's a bunch. There's meta and mecha and Neo or something, Cyber Ridley. I don't know. There's too many for me to keep track of, and I've only seen a couple. Hey, Drusif, welcome in. Glad you could finally catch a stream. Metroid's my favorite series. Watching you conquer them is fun to watch. Thanks for coming in. I recognize uh, I recognize some names in here from YouTube, too. Like, I'll see subs and comments and stuff from over there. And it's cool when you all are able to make a stream. Uh, Fist, thanks for the follow as well. We had a good thing going in this corner. We survived for a while. Long enough to see that there's a missile section. Now, is it timed or is it after I take a certain amount of damage? I don't know. Because this is pretty boring to watch me just hang out in this corner. It's, on it's the only space that we found that I don't get hit by the claw. Oh no. I can't remember if I've tried a power bomb in this fight yet. Space pirates just like to keep bringing Ridley back. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't? Ridley's super badass. Does that do anything? I don't think so. And those just hit, hit its neck, hit its face. Nothing goes far enough to make contact with the body. I'm not doing any damage against the claws. And its head like follows us, which is very interesting. Oh, once you're down there, and it like raises, he raises his claw, you're done for. Found you from YouTube! Oh nice! Yeah, different account names too, I feel that. That's, that's, that's normal. Can I get past you? No? Everything just bounces off. Do the, do the jetpack missiles thing again. I want to see what that looks like. You did it last time. You can't stand on top of your hands. Plasma doesn't do anything. Ice doesn't do anything. Hitting the ceiling with missiles doesn't do anything. Okay, we're about to die. Oh, and it was about to do the missiles again. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like if we stay up in the corner, nothing's gonna happen. Because I think we have to be in a certain spot for 
the jetpack missiles to happen. Never noticed the guy doesn't have legs, yeah. When we, okay, if you saw the VOD when we first encountered this boss before I decided I was just gonna go on an item hunt, I was like, oh, is it Ridley? No, that's not Ridley. It's some other robot because it doesn't have legs. <laughs> I was convinced it wasn't because it was just chilling on the floor. He drags himself onto the arena with arms. Fascinating. Ridley never got a chance to finish the work on it? Yeah. Okay, I can't get past you, and I just wasted health, but it's fine. I can hang out right there for a second. But I can't stand up while I'm in there. So... Doesn't seem particularly useful. This is just a science round. Understand. <laughs> uh, first time viewer lurked for two streams on and off, but too anxious to chat due to ADHD, OCD, Asperger's, Tourette's, and anxiety. No worries, Liam. Thank you for the lurk. Thanks for the support. Welcome in. If you are here and and lurking and not chatting, also totally cool. We keep it really chill, and uh, I, I appreciate you. Thanks for saying hi. I never feel like, I, tr I try not to call people out a lurk. If you just wanna vibe and hang out and watch, that's a way that I enjoy streams a lot too, so. Um, I get it. Funny how you don't really notice small things even though I beat this like a hundred times. The fact that Mecha really doesn't have legs, yeah. <laughs> You never really stop to look at the full sprite. Thank you for the host, Liam. Pre I appreciate it. Often draw while watching streams on the side. Yeah! I'm working on videos and stuff a lot of the times when I have streams open. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I just like to listen, kind of like podcast style, and get stuff done around the house, too. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. I've seen something really- well, now is not the time to talk about it, but it has to do with calling people out of lurk, and I will talk about it after the boss fight. <laughs> oh, we have charge beam! Huh. But we don't- but it's not- I completely forgot we had charge beam. I'm pretty sure it's optional. But we do have it. <laughs> <laughs> it took me way too long to get it. Can I go? Like, okay, you duck your head. The only things we see you do is duck your head. Can I go over top of you when you're ducking your head? I don't think so. There's definitely more to the room behind you, but I don't know that I can get to it. Oh, if I shoot up that way, does that make you duck your head? Or was that coincidence? Okay, I can't um, space jump if I keep hitting you in your face. I wonder if it's just a pattern of, like, lift hand, duck head, claw. But I wonder if the pattern only starts if I'm crouching? And if I stand up, does it start over? God, I'm struggling with space jump. Gonna head out. Okay, Trav, take care. Thanks for hanging. 
Have a safe drive. Quinn, welcome in. Insert the lurk gif. <laughs> Calling out lurkers, you mean when you look at the list and talk even if they sever never said hi. Yeah, or um, like if you come in and say hi, I tried not to like, hey, if you're still here, can I ask you this? Oh, well, we got the missiles thing. But I don't know that that gives us any, I don't know. I'm baffled. Um, I just, if you want to say hi and that's it, then I will leave you alone until you chat again, and then I'll continue to interact with you. It's not that I'm like, oh, you came in and I didn't ask you further questions, it's just I let you all lead the way with how much you want to be interacted with, or at least I try. But I, what I was gonna say before we went into the fight was also, I know some people don't acknowledge follows at all or they'll say thank you for the follow but they won't read the username or they might have it show up like a small thing on screen but not read them out loud because some people want to follow and just like not even be said hi to um and i i think that's just preference i don't think anybody like if i don't want to be called out for following i follow when the person's off stream if i'm not feeling like getting a shout out at that moment then then I wait till they're not live. But I've seen different methods. And I do apologize if I miss chat while we're in the midst of the fight. Although right now it's not much of a fight. It's more of a... bash my head into the wall. Oh, we can get those map squares before it comes out. Before he comes to say hello. Pow, 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 pow. I don't think that does anything. Sometimes I feel pressured to say something if I follow. Yeah. Either is fine. If you want to be chatty, be chatty. If you want to come in and not say a word, you can do that too. Uh, Sirius, welcome in. How's it going? Up. Where is there like a window of opportunity? I feel like every time I try to jump over Ridley's head, that's not the solution. But they never... to break the ceiling so the room crumbles down around them. And the only things I feel like I don't have access to right now are sprinting. We can't speed boost to do damage. Not that we've ever needed to do that. in for one second and drop a little bomb and then roll back out. Oh, nice. Oh, that went right to its eye. Do I just have to scooch a little bit forward? I want to try to hit your green eye. Oops, hang on my green missile. It doesn't do anything. Mm. 
no save for it yet. No, 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 no. This is how many? Four attempts, five attempts today. I gotta, I gotta think through it. So far, this is the only corner- oh, we're very low on health already. The only corner where we're safe. And the only different thing that happens is missiles, and it happens like- Okay. After a certain point, then it starts to happen a bunch. Oh, and they home in on you. Okay, that's new. We survived a little bit longer. We enjoy the struggle bus. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, mods. Appreciate you. Turn to game. If you're not familiar with the, um, the hint system, or rather the safe word system, a lot of people do, like, hey, don't help me unless I use this word. And we do that here, too. I've seen much more creative <laughs> words used, but uh, ours is very blunt and straightforward. <laughs> no creativity. At least there's one universal certainty no matter how long it takes or how many times he comes back, Samus always beats Ridley in the end. I'll eventually get it if I keep poking at it. Yeah, that's the plan. The safe word is safe word. I'm tempted to ask if it's like something outside of this room, but I... I'm, I'm not ready to make that assumption yet. I wonder... Okay, hang on. We've done power bombs just from the corner. Have we done them from here? That doesn't make a difference, though. Because they'll affect the room no matter where in the room you are. to kneel and instead I shot at the at the ground what if I can we kneel from here no I can't even kneel the only thing I can do is be in a little ball from under the claw I think is what it seems like Every time I try to come out of the ball, we get hurt. We make this indestructible wall. Does anything get through at all? Oh, there we go. Oh, and then you move back. Is this a Krakomire fight? We have 181 missiles left. I wonder, is it... It's right after you claw at us? Yeah. Oh, we got two. Ooh. That's new. Don't like... Nasty. Oh, okay, but that's good progress. <gasps> oh god, oh no, you have so many more weapons to use against me. Do we want to use supers here? Probably. Stop it! Ooh, nice. Okay, uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> we found some place it didn't bounce off. Finally. And now he's pissed. Yeah, that was good progress. 4 HP in a dream. <laughs> so close. But I do not understand how to dodge anything except for the eye laser yet. That one seems to not hit us when we're cowering in a ball in a corner. Um... Otherwise, the flames, I don't know, the homing missiles, I especially don't know. And... Is that it? The claw we know how to dodge, I guess. The speedrun does this with one E-tank. Oh my god. No thank you. Have you tried Control-Alt-Delete? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready this time. Oops, and then I stepped forward. Maybe not so ready. There's like this one section of wall right there that's safe. Oops. Okay, we broke the glass already. These I don't... Oh. Alright. Oops, oops, I jumped into it. Ugh. Ugh! No, it's so hard for me to unfurl out of the... out of morph sometimes. Oh. Oh, we did something cool. I feel like we made the eye laser hit the missiles. Oh, no. Rip. No! How... when can I... when can I attack you again? Right there! Ooh! Red. We've got so much health! Come on! Oop, rip. Is it over? Is it over? I don't know. I don't trust anything in these games to be over. Run away! Oh, we run away this way. Not another chase! No! Wait, I think I have to go up. You all know I'm not good with these. And they're mega stressful. See, this is like a secret there if I could figure out how to break that wall. They make me wait behind this door? Oh, shoot. This is gonna be rough. Okay. It's different than when we did the other section. It's not when the alarm's not sounding that the door's open. It's... You gotta find a different path around the door. Love the runaway music? It is good runaway music. I'm terrified of not making it out of here in time, but we will do our best. And they do give you a nice um, health refill after the fight. Now these passageways make more sense. So many areas of this have, like, two ways in and out. And this is so... They put so many obstacles in your path! I'm missing... I'm sure there's, like, way more to it, but... Gotta love the one pirate... 
perfectly positioned for us to fall on his head. Yeah. Oops. If only Mecha Ridley figured out they could set the timer for less than five minutes. Then they would have us beat. Oh no! <laughs> we did this part! Come on, little robot! Your life is at stake! Your very existence! I remember the path to get to the ship is really tricky too, but I'm guessing it'll be open now? This- oh, it's not. You don't go to the ship, you gotta get to the little tunnel? Oh, we're gonna die trying to get into the ship. So we just have to keep going out. Okay, okay. I, I guess this is blocked. Nope, that's also blocked. I don't understand. We died! What the hell? Those pirates, I've never figured out how to beat them. Okay, but we know how to beat Ridley. And I got to that point at the end that I just assumed we had to beat those pirates. To get out, I guess. I don't like that at all. Kill him with kindness, yeah, if only. Damn. We're gonna get good at this fight, I guess? Ugh. After a while, it starts use it stops using the flames, which is nice. Oops. Oh god. Now I feel like I'm just so nervous. So bad now that we know what we're doing. James Griffin, hi, welcome in. Perfect timing for the human hello. Um let's try this again. Oh, we didn't get the map squares. Oh well. Oops, I gotta go up, not down. Where is it? And a human goodbye to Ridley, yeah. We still have our save before the fight, though. We can get the map squares whenever. Oops. Just maybe not before we finish this playthrough. Oh god, everyone wants to kill me. Doing okay, James? Uh, we're trying to escape the mothership. And it's not been going great so far. <laughs> I 
I feel like there's gotta be some secret doors in here. There's the pirate that we land on top of again. Like there? Was there not a- oh. Okay, nice. Come on, little robot! Oh, boo. Oh, this isn't any faster. Rip. Well, we tried. You believe in me? Thank you. I know we'll get it someday. It wasn't the first try. And I'm sad, but such is life. This friend again. Anything? Any extra blocks? No? Does that make you move a little faster? I don't think so. There's a cool trick in the escape. I wonder if it has to do with that one shine spark. I bet there's a bunch of cool stuff you can do for the escape. Oh, I'm messing up. Oh, there's another one right there. I bet there's a bunch of cool shine sparks. Really difficult? Yeah. Okay, this dang room. We did a power bomb up here. It didn't it didn't show me what I needed. And there's a scary pirates down here. And they hurt a lot. And I don't think I'm going to win. I don't think I'm going to make it. Nope, don't go in there. No, get down from the damn ledge. What are you doing? <sighs> it's not that difficult. If you speed run it, then you've already mastered it, though. So you have the advantage. Never performed it myself, but it looks tricky. Gotcha. speedrun. I bet there's a way to like build up the shine spark on the top path and then you can use it for a bunch of other stuff. I don't understand like should we go back and practice fighting just the space pirates? They're harder than Ridley. Where's the nearest ones? I guess if I just follow the path of how to escape we can go practice fighting them. It's hard to pull off the tricks involving speed booster. Yeah, we were working at it a couple of them the whole first part of stream. We've gotten some, but not others. Um, there's some really cool tricks, though. I don't think this one we need to. Do you have to, like, wait for these blocks to fill back in? <laughs> I don't know. There's, um... There's blocks below. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Yeah, I have no idea. Those pirates are so far away. James, thank you for thanking the mods. Appreciate it. And they do too.
We're not gonna go into this with... Well, we don't have health when we did it before anyways. Is there a save nearby? Where we can practice? Yeah. You! Oh, do we have to charge beam you? I don't know, I'm scared. Wait, but... It's this room where the save is. Oh, I don't think we can get to it. Shoot, we're gonna die here. They're invincible! Oh, I forgot we poured wine for this lovely Friday. We've been focusing pretty hard. I'm not- that wasn't the escape sequence. The save rooms- that- that was practice. We didn't fight Ridley that time, remember? <laughs> I'm just trying to get to those gray pirates so I can practice fighting them. And figure out how I'm supposed to get past them. Because I don't care about Ridley anymore. We figured out how to beat Ridley. I don't want to run into the same situation where we beat Ridley, but we don't know how we're going to escape. Chuck, hi. No more lo-fi. We're going for credits. It's rough, though. I know, I don't need to spam this many bombs to get through here. Did I get them? No, they don't- you can't shoot them when they're off screen. This is terrible. I guess we could save down here? And get health? Yeah. Wait, how far away is that? Ugh. It's one more down? Yeah. Oh, no, it's right here. A pair of ninjas are more of a threat than a robo-pirate captain. Pretty much. Okay. Refill. Actually, I don't even need to save. But if we die to the pirates, then this is a closer way to walk to them than doing that whole other part again, I guess. I don't know. This is weird. I don't like this. Uh, Saber, thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. What is this one? Missiles? Bold of you to assume I'm human. Okay, here's a practice spot. Oh, well, if not a fellow human, thanks for supporting a human. <laughs> I don't think power bombs hurt you at all. But you're just stuck there underneath me? Running around? Do you not know how to jump like the other ones? Okay, but you do die eventually. Oh, weird. What's all this? Those are crumble blocks, though. Oh, I tried to do the jump thing off of them.
I thought there was a way... to like instantly jump off of crumble blocks if you hold down A. Happy to support, love the game and vibes. Nice, thank you. Yeah, the game has grown on me, although right now <laughs> we uh we're having a time. No, I I actually like this. I think it's really different how we're having to finish this game. Came in to say hi and instantly had all the things to do. Oh, I know how that is. It's it's quite all right. Depends how fast the blocks crumble. I didn't know there were different speeds of crumble blocks. Go figure. Uh, I don't want to save. I just want to heal. Dinner's done, laundry switch, Stardew is star done, nice. Uh... Wee! <laughs> Wait, what happens if I break all of them except for... like the very bottom. Then do we get enough arc to jump across? I don't think that's how this works. Wee! No worries on spoilers. I literally do not know what happens next, even though I've seen bits and pieces on various streams. Nice. Why did I not do that before? Where does this take us? This is the way we originally came in. Oh, well, that was a fun endeavor, I guess. So is this how we're supposed to get out, or is this going to be blocked? I don't understand why they give us that, like, enticing tunnel if that's not how we escape. I feel like this is going to be blocked, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to pay closer to attention to the map the next time we get the escape sequence. You're making me want coffee cake? Yeah. We do talk about crumble blocks a lot. I'm going to keep calling them crumble blocks, though. Sorry. <laughs> They really, really mess you up by putting that uh, ship there and that tunnel. They really, they really F you up. Thank you for the posture check for me and for everybody. If you're slumping. Wait, I'm, I think I'm going. Oh no, I think this is right. Nope. Really enjoyed the gameplay and controls of this game. Yeah, I, I do like the controls. I do really like the controls. I think now that we've played it as much as we have, it feels um, just as smooth, if not smoother, than Super. It's got all the good bits that Super has, and then some, some extra cool bits that Super doesn't have. You love this part? Oh, Kane, we're struggling, but I think we've got it now. Maybe. I think I got distracted and took the wrong path. Um, yeah, we want to go up through this hallway. Space jump and wall jump are better, yeah. Super's clunky with jumping and shine sparking. I feel like I got used to it, but now going back is gonna be is probably gonna be hard. Because it's gonna feel so different. Okay, 
All right, we're back at the save by Ridley. We're ready to do the fight again. And then I think maybe we know a better way to escape this time. Oh my gosh. Shine spark in this feels fluid, but some of the puzzles are demonically hard. Yeah. The space jump and wall jump are pretty bad. I, I, I'm proud of myself for learning the wall jump in Super Metroid. I'm proud of my progress. Is it bad? Going back after this one, maybe I'll think it's bad now. But I was like, yes, I got this. I felt so cool. Overall, this is the best feeling Metroid game. Personally, I prefer Super. But overall, this is more intuitive. Yeah. Speed boost puzzles are too hard. Charge delay should be longer to allow for jumping up on ledges for that one item. I do miss short charge, too. A lot. Or I guess exploiting the game in certain ways. Austin, hi. Welcome in. Happy Friday. Uh, it plays the same as fusion minus wall jumping. Oh, I don't want to know how wall jumping works in fusion yet. I'm not there yet. I like super because it has longer story with darker tone, but this has better controls and gameplay. There's pros and cons to both. Mecha Ridley and Last Escape are rough, yeah. Okay, we got this. Ridley's going down, and then... Space pirates are going down, and then we're escaping. Oh, no, it's okay, Nintendork. I'm just, like, that one, I'm just telling you to... to not say any further, but it's not really a spoiler because we're not even playing that game right now. You're good. It's too short a window for me. Fair. Absolutely fair. Pirates get dunked on. We're gonna try. Almost wanted to delve into fusion controls. Not yet, not yet. Oh, we said we were gonna get the map squares this time. Maybe not. There we go. Got him. Was it worth it? I want supers, please. Nice. Oh, we could have gotten two there. Okay, well, we got a missile out of it. Eh. We'll get it, we'll get it. It's all good. Oh, I keep jumping, like that's gonna help me. And uh not for that part. Oh damn. Nice. Okay. I tried to, um... This one's not going very well. Oh, I keep messing up my space jump so bad. I don't think we're gonna get it this time. There we go. Health, please. Ugh. Terrible Ridley fight. Alright, now let me out of here. Although they do give you tons of health. You broke it! Well... That was kind of the idea. Oh shoot. Let's see what we can do. The music is great. I'm just tired of doing this sequence, but we, we're gonna get it! We're gonna get it! It's gonna be fine! I wonder what that box is there for. I don't know. There's so many spots where I'm sure there's shortcuts that I don't know. 
I'm gonna have to watch, as always, I'm gonna have to watch speedrun of this game afterwards. Okay, can I pause the timer when I do this? So we want to go not the way that we went, or is it going to be blocked, though? I feel like the other path that I'm thinking of is going to be blocked. Oops, stand up. Yeah, that door right there is locked, which makes us go the other way. Okay, so we can't do what I was thinking of. We have to fight the dang invincible pirates. Ugh, awful. I don't, um, I don't really want to. Oh, while I'm sitting here waiting for this robot, we could have a mod do the Discord command. It is a mod-only command, uh, but I'd love to share it for you all. We usually share it a couple times a stream anyway. Thank you, Maggie! And then the socials one, too. Um, I think it's just plural. Okay. Walk forward a little bit. No, oh, you do so much damage. Oh god. Why is it when I need space jump I can't space jump? I hate it so much. Oh, it's awful. This is stupid. Oh, we got one! 19 health and a dream! Yeah! It still doesn't open the door. Frick. Oh, okay. We're good. Oh, good thing we did that last second screw attack. What the heck? Oh, this is cool. <gasps> Do we get to control this? Do we get to fly? Oh, that was close. You all know how I do these last minute chases. We get them at the last second. Mission accomplished. Yes. Thanks for the GGs. I want a tiny floating whale to give me some fin. Thank you for the 40 bits, Kane. I appreciate it. Thank you for cheering for humanity. Thanks for all the GGs. Cue the music. Dun, 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 dun. Doom Troid, hey, welcome in. I think someday we are gonna play AM2R, but we've got Fusion, we've got Dread. Um, I don't know what's gonna be after that. I don't know what order, but it's on my radar. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thanks for the hello, Kane. Um, yeah, this music is great. We're gonna find out my percentage. We're going to get the item trackers. And then we're at, we're at four hours of stream. We could just call it a stream. Uh, no, John, I'm gonna keep trying for it. I'm gonna- I'm gonna keep at it. No spoilers still. I know we just beat it, but... Solid afternoon of streaming. This was great. Oh yeah, we did unlock, uh, Nestroid too, which I said I would try. Right now we're just enjoying the credits. I know, Maggie, I'm like... We need to listen to some remixes, too. There's one really good remix in the Discord that Nico shared with us, actually. Thanks, James. I appreciate it. You love this song? This game does come with Nestroid, I've been told. I haven't seen it yet, because we just- we hadn't beat it yet. And then we get to see which ending we get. 
Oh, thanks. <laughs> nice, Trav. You did make it time and back back in time for credits. Welcome back. Just just at the last moment. Um, I think I saw somebody asking about Samus Returns too. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. Um, it got really quiet. Samus Returns is gonna be hard to stream. I would love to play it someday. Oh, I need to move this alert over. Thank you for the Kofi uh, donation. I appreciate it. Fourteen twenty-five thirty-two. You ready for collecting items? Is eighty-two percent. Not bad. Not bad. Better than super. About the same as Prime. Gravity suit ending. See you next mission. Modded 3DS is hard to come by. Yes, absolutely. Wasn't able to beat Nest Trade. Oh, I'm not planning on beating it. I'm just planning on trying it. But yeah. Thanks, friends. That was your percent. Nice. 82% is great. I'm proud of it. Yeah, heck yeah. Oh, I got a screen I got to screen capture it. <laughs> if you've been here with us for um game completions before, then you know. I save my ending screens. I feel like a lot of people probably do that. Zero mission ending stats. Save. Yours was seven or eight hours. We did take quite a long time, but we did, we went like and did another loop through. We tried a lot of puzzles. Um, streaming adds time anyway, because we sit here and chat and talk about everything, which I love. Thanks, John. Thank you. I, I'm not, I'm not mad at that at all, at that percentage. I, um, I started to realize today how big of an undertaking 100% is gonna be and that I don't know that we'll be able to do it on stream, but I will try. We'll probably do... If it's not on stream, it'll be in the Discord, like one extra stream of secret getting learning strats and stuff. I know we did that for Super and it was really fun. This is zero mission, see you next mission. One mission, yeah. Would you print and do a little game complete scrapbook? Oh, that would be cool. Maybe mistake. Here the people used to Polaroid themselves with the TV. Oh, that's so cute. Yes. Wish they would have ported Samus Returns to Switch. I know. I do too. Yeah, a lot of people skipped it because it's on 3DS. I just, I've never had a DS or a 3DS. Um, I'm sure there's ways to play it still and like emulate it, but we'll see. Streaming's a different experience. More time, huge cognitive load, memory attention being split and other factors. Yeah. Yeah, it's different. Okay, so... Do we unlock... Gallery's been added. Okay. Original Metroid's been added. Ooh. Emergency order. The, the start screen returns. And this tells our time, and then we'll get we'll get the extra stuff in game. It's not gonna show it on um on this screen. What does our gallery look like? Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our ending screen. It's just gonna have this. Awesome. Metroid Fusion Link. Original Metroid. We're gonna give it a go for a minute here. If anybody's been waiting for me to look at this, here it is. It's gonna be a doozy. Music is good. Pixels are good. Thanks for the good luck. <laughs> Glad Twitch listed you, me too. Um. Thanks, Kane. I know. Sometimes sometimes a Twitch algorithm does do okay. Other times... Mm. You've got 30 energy and a dream. Can you wall jump in Nestroid? 
We can't morph yet. Thanks for the good luck! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need it. It's so quiet, too. Oh, I love the fanfare. We can't, um, kneel. You can't just crouch. The available toolkit is small at this point in the series, yeah. Oh, and the enemies come right back. Oh, and there's no... There's no diagonal! Oh! <laughs> Oh, and the the NES screen scrolling sideways and like things appearing and disappearing. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it looks exactly like the super opening, right? And if we go down, we can get... Oh, no, we can't go down. Can we go down? Can you shoot below you? It doesn't appear that you can. Left, right, or up? Yee! Oh, we're already beeping low health. <laughs> Absolutely feels like an arcade game. Nestroid's brutal, yeah. We knew it would be. Four health and a dream! Look at the way we run. We're such a little cutie. Do, 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 do. How am I supposed to shoot at these? You can't. You just jump over them. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. The run animation is, is nice. I, I like it. I want some original NES alerts for the channel. This game aged great! So that's the original, what, Gamers and Rippers, right here in this room. Oh, the legacy, the legend. Oh, 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 ah! Get used to low health beeps, right? Oh. I feel like you're better off just... I mean, what? Platforming, because... You can't reach things. Your range is horrible. You might as well just jump past. This is fun, though. <laughs> I love the low health bops, yeah. Oh, thank you. The only one in the series you haven't beaten. What are the bosses like in this game? I feel like something so epic about Metroid series is how cool all the boss animations look, but- Oh no! I mean, I'm sure they look... I don't know. Like they, they're on the NES, that's all I can say! Oh, Agatha, hi! Welcome in! Happy Friday! This <laughs> looks adorable. Our little run animation is cute. I'm not even mad at the low health beeps. They're not they're not terrible. At least not yet. Oh god. Oh, one health. <laughs> Wait, what's to the right down there? Is that our first save? <laughs> Do we want to save with one health? Zoomers would later become their own creatures in Prime. Can you save in this? Good question. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. You all were talking about how you come back with 30 health. I just assumed that was like from whatever save room it went it it took you to. Oh, we're dead. Saving is remembering passwords. Are we gonna get a password? 
Yeah. Save your progress to the memory. Previous data will be overwritten. Oh. No. No. <laughs> this one has saved, but the original um, did not. I have just learned. I know Smash Brothers 64 has a stage based on this game, Dark Lord, because that's that's the only time I ever knew who Samus was, was from playing Super Smash Brothers 64. I never played any of the games as a kid, um, but I'm so glad we are now.